Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to another Stardew Valley stream. Hold on, I gotta set up some stuff. Yes, a lovely day outside today in real life, and, and in the game. And so, you know, it's just, it's just perfect. Perfect day for Stardew Valley. Oh, the thumbnail. Okay, now you can definitely tell that it's horrible. <laughs> oh my lord. Finally. Alright. Goofy on. Well, let's just, let's just send it. There's a lot of things to do today. In, in the valley. Because it's winter, and there's so many things to do, and we're through the first week, and I feel like I haven't done anything. <laughs> Lovely. Very displeased today. Me too, bro, me too. Wait, nah. I'm not displeased, actually. How can I be displeased when I'm playing Stardew Valley? Giving all kinds of recipes. Amethyst to Emily. Okay. Okay, my boy Clint, I'll do that. I'll do that. Let's go do that. Uh, what am I doing? That's, okay, so that's not grown. Of course it's not. I only planted it like yesterday. It just looks semi-grown. Brian Chant Rails. Good. Oh, we got more. They'll sell for a lot, right? Yeah, that's like, that's really good. I like that. I just keep spamming cranberries. As always. See what's going on in here. I have to go get some more hay as well. The animals are absolutely chewing through it. Good thing that grass just doesn't disappear in the winter like that. That's such a cool change. Me like it. Me like the change. It's good. Doesn't I? Oh yeah, this is upgrade, so it's like all automatic now. I can straight up just. L well, I could just leave this place and just not ever go in and pet the animals. I don't really need to. But I think it's it's probably quite important. I mean, it's not that important, but, you know. The animals gotta be happy. And if they're happy, I'm happy, because I'm making more money. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Uh, we're just gonna sell that immediately. Now, Iridium Egg and this. Is it better still? Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, that's cool. Just making sure. What about the goat cheese? I think it was better. From what I can remember. 720? Yeah, that's still better. Iridium might be better. Like, Iridium Milk might be better than, than the other one. And the Chaz. I guess we'll see once we get the Iridium Goat's Milk. Alright. That's a few extra grand for me. I might just see if I can repair the bus stop, pretty much. I think I think that's what I want. I think it's time. I think it's time for the bus stop. Also, fish. I did catch the glacier fish. I did catch some other stuff. I don't know what I'm missing exactly. As of right now. So there's three fish. There's, so there's three different fish in the... In the in the winter event. Right? There's the blobfish and the other, the other two. <laughs> yep, I remember. Apart from that, there's like void salmon. I think. There's a lot of books that I still haven't gotten. Kind of cool. Something to look forward to. Yeah. There's Void Salmon from the Witch's Lair. And that's the legend. Then there's two two crab pot fish. And I don't know what these are. Well, one of them is sandfish. I don't know what these two are. There could be cave fish, I suppose. I'm gonna look it up. There should be one more. 
Yes, there is. I'm correct about that. The ice pip. Oh my god, it's Rosal for like 280 bucks alone and then ages two times that. Isn't actually like good fish to, to farm, it seems like. Yeah, that's one of them. I don't know what that is. So that's the ice pip. I don't know what that is. Guess we'll find out later. Anything I gotta do? Nothing in there. We got Clint's attempt. What the fuck is going on with my headphones? Move my head, it's crackling. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> Kinda sus a little bit. Uh, what, what am I doing? Amethyst, amethyst, amethyst. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian, for working for the swans. Ah. Let's go to Gunthar. Gunthar, please. I must give a few the sweet, sweet loot that I found somewhere. It must be give a theft to you, Mr. Gunther. I should have brought geodes. You're right. Put them down there. Not a new reward. God damn it, Gunther. I make such dis important discoveries in your museum and you give me Jack Diddley squat for it. As a reward. What an absolute upset. Alright. Again, I really... Yes, okay. There you go. That's it. That's what I was hoping for. I was gonna say, I really hope for... Not all the shelves to be in here. Also, I think that's one I haven't gotten. I believe only one more crab pot thing. Hopefully it's not fresh water. Because uh, I, I don't know. That I'll do, that I'll do soon. And we got this done. And then the rest will also be done soon. Okay. We gaming. We 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 out here. What's happening? Community center is almost complete. How lovely. Um not sure when Emily leaves her room. I feel like it's like a twelve. Right? I think. Maybe I can just enter her room. Aw, come on. But but we're friends, right? Look how friendly we are. We're we're at one heart. <laughs> we're so friendly with each other. Let me in, Emily. Let me in. I have an amethyst for you. Even matches my shoes. God damn. It was destined to be. What am I supposed to do here? I guess I'll just make myself at home. I'll like, cook up a little bit of uh, cupcakes, apparently. And uh, what's in the fridge? Cupcakes, milks, and tightly sealed jar of cornicorns. What? Cornicorns? What is a cornicon? I have never heard that before. What is that? Qu quinoa salad? Well, I don't know. What you're making shit up at this point, game. Nah. What? Bye, beloved girls. We miss you and hope that you are doing okay on your own. We just left the Fern Islands last night after staying for two months. It was a wonderful experience. Highly recommended. Make sure you eat healthy and don't forget to pay the electricity bill. Love, mom and dad. I had no idea that's a thing. <laughs> oh, the wonderful things you can find while scavenging through somebody else's rooms. Make clothing, potentially. I can sit down. What is the what is that? What? <laughs> I guess you can make dyes out of anything. Huh. I had no idea this was here. No clue. <laughs> That's really cool. Can I turn this on? Can I look at this? Come on, she, she's gonna get out there soon. It's a globe. Hey, there's Stardew Valley. Build your own dark room from scratch. Ah. That's Haley, Haley lore right there, ladies and gentlemen. What's here? Super Fashion Girl Magazine. 
I go to Haley's room? No. Okay, well, I'm, I've pretty much touched everything. And she's leaving. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh, my favorite stone. You're so sweet. Oh, uh, it's from who? Oh, you got it, Clint? Well, I don't care where you got it from. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Do you know how to cook bean, hot put? Speaking of it, I have it in my inventory. That's kind of, that's kind of funny. How did you know? Did you... Did she... Is that a line she has? Or does she just say that with any random recipe? And I got lucky that it's in my inventory currently? Or does she look at your inventory and say... What? <laughs> I'm so confused. That's kind of scary. I don't know. I don't like that. Emily, stop that. I give you a gift and you freaking me out. Ah, so you finally snagged a glacier fish. That's one of the slipperiest fish I've ever encountered. How many tries did it take you? <laughs> Actually, it only took me one try. <laughs> yeah, I'm a better fisherman than you, Willie. By a long shot. <laughs> I'm doing. My hubris. My hubris has caught up to me and then choked me, I guess, apparently. I don't make no goddamn swims. Damn, the sife's like pretty good. I don't know how much hay I need, but I need some some quantity, some obscure quantity of hay. All right, what am I doing? I I I mean, we can go fish for the ice pip. Actually, that, yeah, let's just do that. That sounds good. I like that idea. Let's plant this. Thankfully, we can turn in the nautilus shell as well. So it's not really useful for me right now to do so. Uh, so let's just go catch the ice pit. It's, it's just that simple. It's just I gotta just save up 25 grand. And I might actually have that today. I might be able to go to the desert the day after tomorrow? Monday? I think so. It's fish time! Fishing time! Big fish! Right here, big fish. Big fish, right here. Even the biggest. Oops. Heard some other sound and I did a little bit of misclicking. A tiny bit. Nothing too much. Nothing too severe. Nothing too serious, my boy. Ooh. Ooh, slippery little fella, are you now? Just a measly little ghost fish. Give me an ice pip, come on. I believe. Okay, it's not this one, is it? it would be, I think the ice pipe is going to be way more difficult than that. At least I got the treasure. It's some shitty bait. Do not care. I could put it in the ocean for, for the crap pot. I'm kind of running out of bait there. I should have also just bought some from Willy, if I'm being honest. But I didn't do that, because I, I stupid. Ooh, I like that one. That's a nice little flower. Little, little, little flower. Thing. Oh, don't need the trap bobber. I might just put on the dressed spinner. Catch it faster. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, come on. Imagine I just like take off the trap bobber. I'm like, yeah, I can catch the ice pip without it. And then I get the ice pip and it's just impossible to catch. I'm just like, yep, you, you thought, bitch, you thought you could do it, but you can't now. Ah, that is fast. Oops. I keep saying the, 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 the splashy, splashy splash sound of the caves is this the sound to pig make fish. Ooh, more treasure, I accept humbly. Ooh, jewels of the sea. Ooh. How much does this sell for? 50 bucks. We should be able to sell the book to our to our bookseller boy. The book also does sell for 800 just just naturally, but. I think it's gonna be better to trade it in when I can. 
Would be nice. Oh, this is the ice clip right here. I'm not even gonna go for the treasure. Okay, I need the trap bobber, I think. No? Not necessarily, but it is... It is scary. This path is doable. Would be easier with the trap bobber. Well, but if I catch it here, then I won't ever need to catch it again. <laughs> let's go, boys! Let's go! A rare fish that dies in extremely cold conditions. Okay. Job's done. Go home. I don't know if I should look up these fish or not. I think for now I won't. Oh, I think I know which, what one of them is. So one of them is going to be like scorpion carp, and the other one's a sand fish. I think... And the other one is Void Salmon. That's the legend. That's just some fish from a crab pot. Then that's a blobfish. I think that... And maybe that is also from the... Deep, deep water stuff. Uh, not sure what these are exactly. Or what these are. Those might... Some of them might be new as well. I don't know. I think I... I, I should be able to get all of them. Because I believe in myself. And that's the only reason. There's no other reason. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's make more. Let's make more cranberries. I wonder if I will do ancient fruits or not. Or do, I just, <laughs> do I just not do that? Or do I only do them in the thing? In the greenhouse? Right? Question me. I don't know. Oh, that's where all the algae is. I keep putting it on the fish one, but I, rem I, I put it in the other one. Ah. I just do this. I don't know why I don't just do that. Like, come on, man. <coughs> oh, be more efficient. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Nose is acting up. Let's put the ice pip into the box. I could also spend the rest of the day actually um, just digging all these trees. I think that makes sense. Would upgrade my axe if I could, but right now again, I just I, I want the money for the bus stop. Then I'll get money for the auto grabber for for the thing, and only then will I probably like actually upgrade stuff. Yo. Yeah, stream, stream is happening, yo. I'm Walter, I'm Walter White, yo. We're streaming Stardew Valley, yo. We're making products. Which is, which is speaking of product, we just got a, a box of product. From a tree. Sub, how are you, dude? I am quite good, I'd say. How about you, my boy? You know, it's, it's always a good day when you're playing Stardew Valley, like, you know, I just... Can't, 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 can't be better. <laughs> can't be better than this, bro. Probably could be, but nah. Nice, nice, I'm doing alright. That's good. Got many things to do this winter. Maybe even too many things. What do farmers do in winter? Just nothing. Man, I gotta do something, right? Now I'm curious, what the fuck do they do in the winter? I guess it depends what kind of farm you have. If you have like an animal farm, you kind of have to, you know, keep checking up on your animals, make sure they're like not freezing to death. What about if you just have a crop farm? What do you do in the winter? Is it just, you just chill? And not do anything? <laughs> That'd be funny. Just go after harvest season and just I don't know. Game game all winter. Oh sounds pretty good. I don't know, I like that. Big all vacation. It's like what else could they possibly do? This isn't Stardew Valley. They don't go into like caves, sure. It's not, it's not part of being a farmer. In the lore of this game, I kind of just like 
I ditch I ditch normal life and I kind of just become this like weird armor warrior wizard thing. Right? Isn't that kind of weird? Jack of all trades. Wild, bro. But I can get some more forging XP. Oh yeah, don't mind if I do, bro. Don't mind if I do. Oh, let's go. We've done a chat. Chat, 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 chat. We're maxed out forging. Wait, nah, did we? <laughs> Hold on, let's go to sleep and find out for sure, for sure. And then hopefully, hopefully I can do the thing that I want to do. Repair the bus stop, that's the thing I want to do. What is that? Um, what? There was a strong windstorm during the night? Uh-oh, 11 grand? God damn, that's pretty good, I like that. Insta gonna go repair the bus stop. Well, there was a big storm during the night, so I'm a bit, I'm a bit worried what's going on. Hey, the queen of sauce. Plum pudding. Little Jaghoon is champing out a bit for this ooey gooey delight. And who can blame him? The plums are floral and sweet with just the right amount of tautness to fully activate every last one of your eager taste buds. You'll just have to try it and see for yourself. Farmers depend on the area and place, do different things on winter. In a colder place during the time of winter, a farmer in the 1700s would use winter on planning for next year's grow. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Can just... It's just like, how do you prep for it? That's what I was thinking. Like, in what way can you prepare for next winter? They also depend on the harvest of that year. If they have animals, they'll tend to them for winter too. Yeah. I mean, also, if you have grains, if you have like a storage for grains, like a silo, couldn't you like slowly sell it off over the course of winter? Right? Does that make sense? So then you'd constantly like just be doing business, I guess. Oh, but it's not too early. Well, I just wanted to stop by and thank you in person for all that wonderful artifacts and minerals you've discovered. You've done so much for one person. In fact, I've just received a letter from the office of the Regional Secretary of Artifacts. We're being honored with the coveted Golden Shovel Award for our significant contributions to the field. It's all thanks to you! Well, I should get back to work. Or I should let you get back to your work. Oh. I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. An old key that has been sealed in the museum vault for at least a hundred years. It's a little rusty, but still beautiful. I'll usually store hardy food like root veggies and grains for the winter since you can't just go door to door and ask for food during that time. Uh, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. What's like, again, what era are we talking about? <laughs> Because, yeah, in the old era, obviously, like, in, like, 1700s, you would have had to, like, store your food for winter and then eat it over the course of winter, right? You got a bulk, basically. I'm a history nerd. <laughs> nice. It's good, good to know. We're learning shit. We're learning shit in the chat. Let's go. Now then, Bubba, so your first year in Stardew Valley is almost over, huh? If you keep buying seeds from me, you'll be twice as productive next year. And I have something exciting news. I'll be selling new seed varieties in the shop next year, so come and buy. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't even bother trying my competitive seeds. My seeds are higher quality, lol. They're cheaper, too, to be fair, so I can't even blame him. Ooh! Two mystery boxes, don't mind if I do. Uh, yes. Because, like, I know my grandmother has told me many things about the, the long winters of when, when she was young. How, like... How, like, how she pretty much couldn't go to school in, in summer because there was so much shit to do on the farm. Right? She literally had to go to winter. To winter. <laughs> she really 
could only go to school on like winter. So fucking wild. And then I don't know what the farm. I don't know how the fuck they, they survived, bro. They were like constantly starving, basically. It's kind of fucking nutty. Back in my day, we didn't have food, basically. 600 for that. How much is a cloth? Isn't it like 750? 470? That's just incorrect. I <laughs> just, I'm not buying that. What can you do with duck feathers? Nothing. Just sell them. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see. In tropical place, I'm pretty sure you just grow fruit and vegetables for the entire year because it ain't that cold. And that's true as well. Cause yeah, that, that, that's like massively convenient if it's just always warm, you can just always keep producing produce. It's kinda cool. Yeah, with winter areas it's difficult. Speaking of, I did see a video recently where it said like, how... There, there was a, a whole ass like craze going on with vertical farming. Tomorrow, we're all gathering for trout in your marnies. Uh, I'll think about it. I'll, I'll do it, actually. Huh? So there was, a, there, there was a whole thing going on with, like, vertical farming, and everybody thought it was gonna be, like, amazing, because it just seemed, like, really efficient. And then recently I saw a video where, like, a bunch of uh, vertical farms are going, like, bankrupt. Shit's just, like, not working out. That seems so sad. Because, like, <laughs> I don't know, vertical farming seemed uh, really cool. Because, like, wouldn't that be, like, massively convenient if you could just grow mass quantities of food indoors? I didn't catch up on the vertical farm farming that much. Fair enough. But it was, it's basically just in, indoor farming in, like, fucking, like, skyscrapers, basically. So you take up way less space to do it. And also you can control all the... All the variables like perfectly, like how much water the, the crops get and then, and everything. Alright, and thanks for the that's very kind of you to remember my bird eye. Damn, we're gonna go to the action thing probably. Yeah, apparently it's just, it's, it's all going, it's all going bad. <laughs> it's all, all going sour. Vertical farming would be space efficient. Not sure how energy efficient it would be. Um, probably not as much energy efficient because, you know, you'd have to have, like, lamps constantly on for the plants. But apart from that... I don't know, it's, it's, it's it like... It, it has such promise in my eyes. Right? Because then you, instead of having farms like super far away from a city, you could literally have a skyscraper that's just a massive farm. Just smack dab in the middle of the city. Which would cut back on like everything. Like, right? You'd have to like transport less shit. So I guess it would be potentially energy and efficient. Even though you're constantly like using LEDs as lights, but. You know, generally they're quite efficient at turning light, at turning electricity into light. Probably, and, and, and yeah, I don't know. Seems, seems good. Seems like it would be so good. Why gotta not work? <laughs> God damn it. I don't know why I'm here, I'm just looking at stuff. Build a slime edge, but I don't think that's a good idea. Fish pond, mill, lies it to mill wheat, beets, and rice. Do I care about that, like, at all. Maybe I should have one, just, just, just for the fun. How do I upgrade a shed? Big shed, 20 grand. Alright. Well, for now I'm doing other things, so screw you, Robin. <laughs> screw you. <laughs> you ain't getting nothing from me. What the, what, the, what are we even doing today? Like what? 
I kept saying how there's so much shit to do in, in winter <laughs> at the start of the stream, and now I'm like, what do I, what should I do? Oh yeah, there was a massive storm. I forgot, how the hell, could, how did I forget that? There was a massive storm at night. I should go check that out. There's something special that happened somewhere. This guy's going over there. That's crazy. Imagine the struggle to maintain a vertical, vertical farm and harvesting. Well, depends on what they're harvesting, because I think, at least from what I've seen, it's like pretty easy to harvest everything. And also, you can kind of automate it with like robot hands. So, I don't know. I have 200 coal? What? Okay, that's pretty good. Like, I don't know. Makes sense. I'm just not sure, like, I, I don't I wonder what went wrong. Did I not watch the video fully? I think I just didn't really watch the video. Yep, I fucking knew it. It's the tree. Where did it go, though? <laughs> Where's the tree, bro? It didn't fall over. It just disappeared. The old tree is gone. However, with a hundred pieces of hardwood, this could be fixed up. What do you mean? What? What do you mean by that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean it's gone? What does that even mean? How does a tree disappear like that? What the fuck? <laughs> Did Santa cut it down and just take it? What do you mean strong winds? That's not how wind works. It would have uprooted the fucking thing. Or what if it would snap in half and fucking, I don't know. Land somewhere. What? The beaver eat of the tree. What the hell? That's a lot of hardwood, but that's alright. I have a good amount. Hello, here you go. Oh. We got the new thing. It's just gonna be a full new tree. Oh shit. It's just a whole ass house. Maybe someone will decide to move in. Um, interesting. Is that gonna be for the dwarf? No way. That doesn't make any sense. That's really weird. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's cool. Anything here that I need? Bruschetta, spinner, gold, blah blah blah. A rare crow. I don't think I have that one, do I? I'll just buy it. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know if I have it or not. I can't be bothered to check. I'll just get it. Whatever. Let's not be stingy with our money. Even though I probably should be, but I'm not going to be. Also, we have a crystallarium. If I could make a bunch of them, I could put them in the quarry and earn a bunch of money from gems. I think that would be kind of cool. Oh, I could turn the quarry into a whole bee farm. I think. I kind of like that idea, actually. Because <laughs> I think I think that could be really, really good. Um, I think I'm going to try to do that if I can. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I love that you can, like, abuse the entire valley, basically, for, for your personal gain. It's, it's really quite something. Just place all kinds of crystallariums everywhere. If any of the villagers go anywhere, they're like, What the fuck is this farmer doing? Man doesn't have enough land on his farm and is just doing shit all over the place? And now nah, we're gonna need some permits for this shit. This man's going too crazy. He's getting out of hand. Imagine I just terraform the entire valley for, for more efficient farming. Let's keep expanding. Destroy the houses so I'd have more land to grow things. It's fucking wild. Yo, Emily's here. What you doing over here? I'm tempted to give her a crystal fruit, but I'm not sure about that. There's also... Right, there's an event tomorrow. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll show up. I think there's something I can I can get. Of, that's of use to me. In in it in the event. Oh my goodness, what's going on with me? I don't know why. Always at the start of a stream, like like towards the start of it, I I need to hiccup so much. 
it's, it's fucking all you. And it never happens again after that. Ever. For my whole life. Never hook up one ever again. Are there people who just have infinite hiccups? Who, who live their life hiccuping always? I feel like that's a thing and I don't know why. I think it just would make sense that that would be a thing in my brain because there's a lot of weird shit that happens in the world so it's like someone hiccuping in, in, in infinitely of course of course that would be possible I had a hiccup for a whole 24 hours once oh my god like when that happens and then your like muscles hurt afterwards it's like you have a you get a whole ass ab workout <laughs> By hip hiccuping a lot. Nah, that is good. Heard some guy had a hiccup for 60 years or something. Yeah, like, that's... That's just a thing that can happen. You just have to live with it, that's so weird. It would be funny if, like, someone lives with that for, like, 60 years and gets used to it. And then just, like, eating, like, this one specific food or, like, drinking a bit of water just fixes it. It's like, oh my god, this shit's been tormenting my whole life. And I could've just drank some water. <laughs> and fixed it. This is, I know this does imply that the man didn't drink water for 60 years, but like, shush. <laughs> shush. My, my, my... Logic is flawless. It, it just makes sense. I heard there's a medicine for a long hiccup. Is there, bro? What is up with the crying emojis, bro? What the hell? Yeah. There is a medicine for long hiccups. It's called DEATH! <laughs> but it's not a great medicine. Wouldn't- wouldn't rec- wouldn't recommend, no, no, no. I've tried it once and it doesn't go very good. <laughs> that also implies that I've died at some point, but don't worry about it. Don't, don't question it. Like, if you have a hiccup for a day or two, then you should probably get some medicine for that. Eh, it'll pass, surely. Surely it won't last for 60 years. It's probably what the guy thought. And then it lasted for 60 years. <laughs> I don't know. I do wonder if the medicine isn't actually real medicine, if it's just a placebo. Because with that, I feel like it would probably be a placebo. I guess not necessarily. It could be real medicine. That just like, I don't know, makes your muscles not contract. Gives you some like magnesium or some shit. Page from Abigail's diary. Things are up. The smell of car pumpkin, uh, amethyst, chocolate cake, spicy eel, and, and blackberry cobbler. Alright. I do wonder, like, like when... I guess, yeah, after a day or two, you would kind of get a little worried that you're hiccuping. Because, like, at first it's like, ah, whatever, it'll go away. And then a day passes, and it's like, ah, it'll probably go away. And another day passes, and it's like, why is it not going away? And then another day passes, and like, okay, hold on a moment. Uh, what's, what's going on here with the hiccups? Why am I still hiccuping? Could be a small amount of poison that send your body into a bit of stress so the hiccups stop. Does that make any fucking sense? I mean, like, I guess. Give him just, just a little bit of cyanide. Just a, a small spoonful of cyanide. They'll, 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 they'll recover soon enough, surely. That's kind, of, that's kind of a funny thought. You got a headache? Drink some poison! It'll, it'll knock the headache out of you. This, this medicine may include side effects uh, like nausea and, and brain damage and permanent loss of, of blood vessels. I got another woody secret. It's gotta be done. It's, come on. It has to be complete. 
That's weird. Last time I did that, it said I've learned a few things and I just didn't. It just didn't. It didn't happen. Why do I have four stars? Oh, community center. Mm. Now I understand. It is funny how many things are probably poisoning most people right now. It's funny how there's just like so many poisons in the world, right? Like it's just between any drugs, like like I mean like you know most common would be like nicotine and like alcohol, right? Do they all poison you? Uh, breathing dust probably poisons you. Uh, if you have a gas stove, that's probably poisoning you a little bit. Uh, if you have if you play soccer, you're getting brain damage. <laughs> and most sports, if you're playing any sport, basically, you're probably getting a bit of brain damage. Uh, if, if you breathe in the vicinity of outside, which is always, uh, cars, they produce fucking toxic gas. But breathing, that's probably not good for you. Um, God knows what kind of weird uh, bacteria and whatnot get inside of you if you're like using public transport um probably get some sort of sisyphus i bet it's just it's wild diamonds red wine have a slight amount of poison called tannis i think is that tannins isn't that doesn't that like give taste to it in some capacity what am I doing? I think I remember. Same stuff that doesn't let you eat cor acorn. <laughs> that stuff also makes your body unable to digest anything if you, if you ingest too much of it. The fuck? I ain't ever heard of that. So it's like, but you see what I mean? It's poison. It's fucking. It's bloody poison, isn't it? Oh yeah, tannin. Yeah, the tannin. They give. They give extra taste to the thing. From what I've heard, I don't. Have I had wine ever? Have I even had wine? <laughs> I'm so confused now. That nah, doesn't matter. Probably doesn't taste good. But yeah, basically just like, also sugar, I guess. I don't know, it is weird, because, like, it's like coffee is kind of good for you, but also kind of not. You'd have to, like, take very specific amounts of it. I think kind of the same with sugar, where it's, like, just too much of it is just not good for you, but, you know, it, it, everything has sugar, so you, you're better off just not eating anything sweet and just, you know, hoping for the best. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Well, what else is there? There's a uh, rotten, rotten meat. You probably shouldn't eat that. God damn, I am earning good today. I'm earning good every day, honestly. A few more days and I'll get all the things I need. Not eating sugar and make you tired easily and you'll be really low on energy. I think that's just untrue. I think it's the opposite. I'm pretty sure it's the opposite. Because here's the thing. Humans evolved to not eat a lot of sugar. Because there wasn't a lot of it. That's why people crave sugar so much. So you'd really enjoy any tiny amount of sugar that you would get out in the wild. The trick is to not eat too much of it. Yeah, like you still need sugar, but you should be getting enough sugar just from eating like normal food, basically. Or like eating some fruit. And also like, that's also the type of sugar, right? The whole thing with fruit is because yeah, they have a lot of sugar, but it gets digested more slowly. And so therefore it's better for you. If it's like sugar in raw form, then your body digests it way too quickly. And then, and then you're just a little bit fucked. 
It spikes your insulin or whatever. Find any tree seeds while chopping wood. You can plant easy in the ground. No trouble. Get out. Yep, I read that perfectly. Okay. Take care of all this and then go to the event. And then yeah. It'd be fun if you could just like, I don't know, follow, e easily have a diet, I guess. Just, just follow like some basic things and just eat like normal ass food. Even just having a diet though seems like so, such, like such a pain. I, mean, I'm sure. I guess, I guess you probably could. You probably could eat like decently healthily even without like a, a real like strict diet right as, as long as you just like don't overeat certain things and you're just like generally kind of careful about it or you could eat you could eat healthily <laughs> can't can't be that hard right surely Also, I'm on the fence about coffee as well. Cause like, I can't. It's it, it, like I've watched like podcasts of like so-called experts who have you know done studies about coffee and whatnot. And it's like yeah, coffee does kind of an in enhance like brain activity and whatnot a little bit. But then some other guy was like, well, it does also constrict your, your blood vessels or, and whatnot, and your brain gets, like, less oxygen or some shit. Just, like, a little bit less. And it's like, okay, well, that, that could be not... That's probably not good. I don't fucking know. I guess, I guess you can just eat anything, as long as it's not extremely actively poisonous. Like, like nicotine or alcohol, I'd say. <laughs> and then like sugar, just cut back on it and then bam, bam, bada bing, bada bam. Maybe you don't even have to cut back on sugar. Also, from what I've heard, you can just eat more fiber. Like, if if you just eat a lot more fiber, you'll you'll be better. You'll be better off. And also, coffee has fiber in it, actually, from what I've heard. People don't think about that, which is like, coffee actually has a good amount of fiber in it. So you can kinda, kinda get a good amount of it from there. I got rice and fish cake. Damn, that sounds pretty good. I got something. I don't know what kind of food I got. I don't know what it, I don't know what I would call it. Basically meat wrapped in potatoes. <laughs> pretty fucking good. I'm sorry, but having us parapets requires my undivided attention. Alright. Is this different than how it used to be? I think so. Okay, that sounds like fun. What type of meat? I don't know, Mr. Meat. <laughs> it's Mr. Meat, I don't, I don't know. My, my grandmother made it for me. Very nice. Me like it. I mean, would I either, it's like either chicken, pork, or beef. Something like that. I don't think we really eat many other types of beef. Is Pierre somewhere? There he is. Okay, so, so nothing to buy here, right? Nothing to buy. It's just a fun event. No, there's something back. There it is. Hello. I just bought this for cheaper. <laughs> Let's go. Stuffing, pumpkin soup. I don't really care about any of it. Save my money for now. Alright, Mr. Louis, let's start the festival, please. Are you ready? Hell yeah, I am. Actually, what even is, is fish cake? Alright, everyone, let's begin this year's ice fishing competition. It's just a cake made out of fish. Okay, go catch fish. Yeah, I got it. Well, is everyone ready? I got a shitty rod. Damn. I mean, this fucking... Oh, a stick with a string on top. Isn't that kind of crazy? 
What's the... I wonder what's the shittest fishing rod someone's caught a fish with. Oh. Ooh. It's like... Is there somebody who just, like, made, like, a, a goofy, ah, uh, little rope of, like, straw and grass? Wrapped it onto, like, a, a branch and then just, like, wrapped some sort of bait on the very end? Of the- of the string? And then- and then they caught a fish with it? It's theoretically, that's all you need, sort of. It just needs to be strong enough to actually, you know, be able to pull the fish out of the water. Fish cake is just mystery meat, but fish, and it's actually good for you. It's also funny saying that things are good for you and are bad for you as well, now that I think about it. The simplest answer is, like, all in moderation, right? Because, like, generally eating fish is, is, is good to have in a diet, I'm pretty sure. But so is everything else. In moderation. <laughs> pretty sure Willy supplies all of the fishing rods. Right. He's made shitty uh, stick fishing rods. Decayed. Couldn't have made better fishing rods. Absolute cringe. Uh, easy dub with six fish, right? I was catching the whole time, the whole time. Last fish. Unless not, which is fine. Cause I still win. Guaranteed win, no cap. Ah, that's fish. Isn't it like... Fish have some sort of like vitamin D in them or whatever? And that's generally like the main source of vitamin D. It's like nothing else has it basically. <laughs> also, I like that. The... So... People always say how like, oh, I need more vitamin D, I should go out into the sunlight to get it, but that doesn't make any sense, because, you know, you don't, you don't get a vitamin just by being in the sun, it doesn't just, you know, materialize in your body all of a sudden, you have to have the prerequisite to it. Whatever the fuck makes the vitamin D that is useful in your body, you need to have it. Before going out into the sun. Not many people know that. <laughs> Maybe. Your body makes vitamin D in response to sunlight. Yeah, it uses sunlight to make vitamin D. But vitamin D is a vitamin that you have to ingest from food. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's like, it's all called vitamin D, but it's like, it's something else. It's called something else. It's like vitamin D12 or some shit is what you get from fish. And then vitamin D12 turns into vitamin D13 when it is exposed to sunlight in your body. And that's how you get vitamin D. That your body can use. Right? But you still need the prerequisite to it. And I think most people probably get enough sunlight, but I'm not 100% sure about that one. It's not necessarily true. Because I don't think you need that much sunlight. I'm not a biology and chemical expert, lol. Well, I am, sort of. <laughs> it's because I watch so many YouTube videos about chemistry and biology and physics and shit. I don't know, that's just the thing I was, I was thinking of. Don't I complete the thing? Yeah. Bus stop time! Bus stop! We're going to the bus stop time! Ooh! Winter melon time! We're going to the winter melons! We're getting winter melon time! Woo! How much do these sell for? So, so one, one basic all winter melon, 60 bucks. Alright, nothing, nothing too good. I should've done that! Nah. Like squashes and stuff. I was gonna say I should've made seeds for that, but it doesn't really matter, they're not, they're not great, they don't sell for that much. 
Yeah, anyway. Basically, either take some sort of vitamin supplements or, or eat more fish. <laughs> and then you should have enough vitamin D. I'm pretty sure most people are, are probably vitamin D deficient, I don't know. I mean, the theoretically. I'm not basing that off of anything. That's just <laughs> straight up just a theory. Yeah. It's just a, it's just a funny thing to me. It's like, oh yeah, just go into the sunlight and get more vitamin D, but when, when, when the actual root cause of you not having vitamin D is that you don't ingest it and eat it. Am I drying anything? I always forget to put dry the dryer on. It's kind of it's kind of messed up. Anyway, TED talk over. <laughs> Doesn't vitamin D responsible for good mood? Basically, I think it's responsible for a lot actually. <laughs> like you, you really you really want to have vitamin D. You like absolutely do not want to be deficient in it. I think you could say that about a lot of vitamins in your body, because your body just needs so many weird little chemi like chemicals for depressed people. Nah, not necessarily. But it, it, it would help, but, you know. Depre depression is like something else, maybe? Probably. I don't really know. I'm not, I'm not much of an expert on how depression works. To be honest. It is kind of more of a mental thing. I think with depression is just because social media. That's my leading theory on it. Because it's like, you go onto social media and it just looks like everybody's got their shit together, you know? You see people and you can't help but compare yourself to them and how they're better off than you and you're better, you're you're worse off than them, and so you get depressed, right? You see beauty standards that are impossible to achieve and whatnot. I am. I have depression myself. <laughs> right. How about you back it up with a source? Sussy. That's also it's also weird with like um what is it self diagnosis is kind of a funny thing. Cause yeah, if you like properly look at yourself and are like, do do am I am I having trouble with this? Am I not having trouble with this? I feel like you can generally decide that. But to me, it's like you know, <laughs> get it properly checked out if you really do. Pretty sure no one actually got their stuff together. Mm, nah, there would have to be people that have their shit together to some extent. Or the at least, at least some people might have the illusion that they have their shit together. You know, which might just be enough. You know, if you truly honestly think you got your shit together, then, then you do. What can I say? You kind of just do. To some extent. Also... I've earned 400 grand through this run, and like, I, it took me this long to get to the goddamn desert. <laughs> what the frick. I should've been here like, ages ago. Maybe people who live off the grid and are self-reliant? Kind of, yeah. I think it's because they have stuff to do. Right? Like, they're, they're, they're busy constantly, right? They have to... They have to take care of, like, their farm and, and then whatnot. They have to go, like, constantly take care of water. So it's kind of like, you just kind of have a routine of what you do every day. And then if you're alright with having a peaceful routine where you just do the same shit every day, then, you know, you can be happy. But hey, that's just the theory of film theory. That would be a game theory? I don't know. Style theory, bro. Oh, goodness. I want the food theory coming out about vitamin D. The world needs to know. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. 
Come on, give me the goddamn scorpion car. The only thing I care about. My ADGS could not have a peaceful, boring routine. <laughs> it probably could. It probably could. It doesn't have to be a boring routine, is the thing. And also... I don't know. Skillish. <laughs> also, I did hear that, like... People who have ADHD, they're just missing... They're missing a vitamin called B12. Or some shit like that. And if you have more B12 in your body, you'll just have like, slightly less ADHD. Also, you could still have like... I guess... You could still somewhat have a routine. But it could be a little sporadic with ADHD, right? If you want to just spice it up, but generally still do the same shit every day. I don't know. Because I guess it's also like... For a lot of people, do you reach some sort of point in their life? Like, do you reach some sort of success? And then... and then... Do you keep wanting to go forward? It's like you have a big-ass goal to do something. What do you do when you reach the goal? You know? It seems like a lot of people struggle with that. It's like, oh, I wanna, you know... Make a whole ass business, for example, and like... Y you know... Reach certain numbers with it. And that seems like an, an impossibly difficult goal to achieve. And yet this... and then... When they achieve it... They're like, well, well, what now, actually? <laughs> That's it, the goal's done. And then they have to, like, figure out what else to do. How to move forward with their life. Ooh, something new, boys, something new. We don't know what it is yet. It's a button for the Skull Caverns. Must be some sort of, like, reset button. We in the Skull Caverns, boys. Finally. I need a better pickaxe than this. Hopefully we can get some iridium, actually. Oh, second thought. Alex is straight and shanked by uh, Skull Cavern hard mode button. Uh, I mean, I can actually just go back since I haven't really traveled anywhere inside of here and see if I can press it now. I, maybe, maybe it is hard mode. Maybe you gotta reach the Mr. Mr. Chi. What does that sound? And then, and then, and then maybe it unlocks something. But that's, that might take a while. Because I didn't look at how, like, happy or stressed the spirits are today, so... For all, I know they're, like, very displeased and I'm, like, gonna get fucked here not find any any exits i do want those crates however oh my god they're so tanky i need that galactic sword now Ooh. anything good oh god that's kind of scary actually i don't like that i don't like that i don't like that that's on my first fucking like floor basically my sword and or armor is not good enough for this shit. Look at the amount of damage I'm taking. I'm about to die just straight up. This is so unlucky. Come on. <laughs> Need a lava katana, my, bi my, my guy. He might, he might be correct. I need to f just fucking leave, honestly. I'll just go back in. It's gonna be a new one. Yeah. I just need that to not happen again. Like, that's all I need. I'm just not powerful enough yet. Like, the sword is fucking AIDS. It's a cool sword, but it's just like... It's not good enough. Also, I'll need a lot more salad, my goodness. 
It's gonna be rough at the start. It's gonna be real rough. Just, I need the fucking thing to not happen. I, I need that event to not happen, because I literally can't handle it. The Holy Sword is my fave in terms of a look. Fair enough. The Holy Blade to smite your enemies. I don't even remember where I got it from. It must have been like some sort of drop or something. Because it got like a Crusader enchant on it. I don't even have that unlocked yet. Like, I don't have enchants unlocked. Bunch of money mummies in the future as well. Blonde sword, lol. <laughs> Literally, bruh. God, another one of these fuckers. I mean, if I get lucky enough, I can get a prismatic. I keep wanting to say lace wing, but it's the, the prismatic gemstone, whatever the fuck it's called. If I get a prismatic lace wing, I can summon the princess of light. And go get the the the, the 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 sword summon thing, and it's gonna be cool as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Okay, finally. <gasps> iridium, first iridium. Oh my god! Oh my god! First iridium. Oh my god! Please. I can't do anything about those guys. Gotta blow them up or something. Oh, more crates. I hope the things don't spawn again. I hope I get a hole. Now, one day I'm gonna have like infinite bombs and stuff, and I'm just gonna blast it through these caves, and it's gonna be really funny. But also, I need to make food of some kind, actually. Like back, back at home, so I could bring into the caves and, and eat it. Because salad's a bit expensive right now, especially since I wanna save up money for other stuff. Oh, that's a lot of fire cords. Holy shit. Him dead. I want to make some cherry bomb for the iridium wall. Uh, I have a bunch. It should be alright. I'll, I'll figure it out. I've I've done I've done many runs of this place, like. And this is having bombs is insane. But generally I buy them from the dwarf. Because that's just easier. But, you know, I don't have him unlocked yet, and also not enough money. So, yeah. Also, I don't need too much iridium. How much iridium do I need, actually? I have, like, five tools or something. Like, 25 iridium bars. So, 125 ore. Yeah. I mean, if I just have a day where the spirits are happy, then we're good to go. Also, if I get the secret note... That makes me have more luck, so I could get the, like, lucky charm. Also, I need to save a rabbit's foot for that occasion, now that I think about it. Yeah. Because, yeah, clearly, I'm- this is a very unlucky day. Because, like, I'm just not getting any ladders whatsoever. Also, upgrading the pickaxe is gonna be good, but yeah. I don't know- I don't know what order to go with things, you know? I can build more barns, I could build, I could get auto grabbers for them. You know, just... Oh yeah, I have a deluxe barn, I can buy sheep and pigs. Holy shit, how did I forget that? Wait, yeah, let's just do that. That's gonna make me a lot more money. I think. I'll, I'll calculate just how much money that makes me and then we'll see. Oh my lord, that hurt. <laughs> Wow, okay. Man took away half of my health in one little swipe. That's messed up. Man, a bomb for this place would be... Oh, be beautiful. But I don't have one. Oopsie poopsie. My god, the this, this spirits must be very displeased, right? This sucks. This straight up sucks. Also, my goodness, I'm, I am straight up so confused about how to, how to go about things. 
like because okay if i get animals it makes sense right because then i get more money from the animals and then you know that's good because i get more money and more quickly but also i need money to upgrade my tools so like what the frick because right now i'm not earning enough money from the animals honestly i, I could easily spend it all on upgrading my stuff Oh, like, yeah, if I could build another barn, I think that would be quite good. I wasted, like, 300 megabombs trying to look for the auto pedal recently. Holy shit. Wow, okay. That's fucked up. Yeah, the auto pedal is... Is, is, a, is an unfortunate beast. Oh, goodness. Gonna start me off immediately with one of these guys. Okay, crit, that's good. It's big. I should probably be killing these slimes. They can drop iridium and the other things. Also, my god, you gotta be rich if you get if you got 300 mega bombs. I generally just, I personally like just you know, I buy a bunch of salad. I buy a bunch of bombs from the from the dwarf, like the medium sized bombs, and I just send it. I just blast it through everything and get really. F Far down. Um. Yeah, screw the cactus fruit. I don't really need it. Okay. I'll come back another day and hopefully we'll do a lot better. I went the entire 91 floor without any treasure floor on a lucky day. Um. I don't know. Seems like a skill issue. <laughs> Should have gotten to floor 200, bro. <laughs> Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. In all honesty. My luck is abysmal. Yeah. <laughs> you need to go very often like, to the Skull Caverns if you want to get the auto petters. It would be funny. Don't you get, like, a guaranteed one? No, you don't. You just get them from treasure floors. Yeah. That is... <laughs> that, I, I could see how that would make you want to do the Joja route, honestly, and just fucking buy the auto petters. Oh my god, piss off. Piss off, can't. Piss off, piss off, piss off. Please, please, Baus. This is combat. Ow. Nice! <laughs> All damn, we got to like level nine. That's that's not good. Whatever. Maybe I'll only go here on super lucky days. But what do I do on the rest of the days? How do I how do I make money? I could technically make money by by selling stuff that I get from the mines. I don't have that much to sell, but I can do it. CA should really add the ability to get the auto pedal from Marnie or have it as a prize item from Mr. Kuyo Walnut Room. Yeah. I th I, yeah, you're, you're, you're kind of right. I take 100 Q gems for two auto pedals to BH. I'm actually surprised that that's not a thing. Like, now that you mention it, yeah, that, that is weird how that's just not a thing you can buy from him. I mean, you can kind of just have auto petters. Uh, you can put an auto petter, max out all your animals in one place, and then put another auto petter somewhere else. I think. Let's just use up this bomb. For one auto petter, yeah. Well, it is what it is. Still can't do this? Nope. One day. Uh, do I have space for wood? I do, actually. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Might as well, don't mind if I do. Having more wood is always good. No sap or coconuts, though. Honestly, screw the powder melon seeds. That shit sucks. 
Look at the shop, give them the coconuts. How much do they sell for? Not bad. And their fruit? <gasps> Wait, can you get dehydrated with coconuts? Because that sounds really weird. That's not a thing in real life, is it? Why don't they just turn into like... Coconut flakes, I guess, is, is the, co the closest thing. Also, would be funny if I like keep going into the mines and uh, hoping for the prismatic gemstone so I could actually get a good sword. And then it just never happens. Dehydrated coconut, let's go. Yeah, did you guys know? How the fuck we go from there to... Okay, whatever. There's no road there. That doesn't lead to anywhere. Did you guys know? Puggers is wondering where you've been. Did you guys know? <laughs> that coconuts? Uh, you can poke a stick through one of those three holes that it has. Through one of those three dark spots. And then you can just drink the milk from the inside. You can like put a little straw in there or something. It's a little, it's one of them little life hacks from me to you. One of those little Bowman life hacks. Free of charge. Ooh, Sebastian's birthday. He doesn't come out oftenly. <gasps> if I can get him the gift on his birthday, he will be two stars with me, and then I can go into his room and give him gifts. Just like that. Rather stout. Okay, I think I, I think I, I already know that. I probably read that already. Or Gentella. Very displeased today. Understood. I see you've entered the Skull Cavern. Ooh, I've got a mountain of coins if you go to level 25. That's some money for me. I like money. Okay, let's see about this dehydrated coconut. It sounds really funny. How much does five coconuts cost? 500. Okay. Uh, put away all this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can complete another community center thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. What else am I doing? Coconuts, put them away. This, put them away. I'm gonna need another chest. Um, a big boy, big boy chest. I need to put them next to each other, don't I? God damn it! Okay, hold on. Let's, let's move everything. <laughs> How can I do that better? Mm, I know. Okay, let's put away everything that I have in my inventory right now. And then make this chest, uh, the yellow one, and this one, another green one. And take everything from here. Put it over here. Right, I should have moved the fish first, actually. <laughs> you fool! And now it's gonna be confusing. I fucked it up a little bit. Fine, just happy, happy little accidents. Happy little accidents. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, yeah, that's satisfying. That can be a whole ASMR video right there, honestly. <laughs> That was lit. That's, that was lit as fuck. Okay, nice. And there you go, we have another foraging chest. Best like that. Uh, give me, give me all my stuff back though. I don't even need most of this. I don't fish very much. Put that away, it's wasting inventory. Especially since I'm going to the skull caverns nowadays. Alright, coconut. Just sell it. Who cares? Sandfish, sell most of it. Keep one. River jelly. I don't think I'm ever gonna smoke fish because it's just not worth it, but maybe. Okay, that should be there. Just like that. And these aren't used very much. Actually, I don't even need the milk pail. I don't even know I bought shears as well. That's like literally useless to me. Me stupid, me stupid. Nothing in here, but I can keep petting them so they could keep keep giving me stuff. Uh, is Marnie alive today? I think she is. So it's gonna be. I'll buy two sheep and two pigs. I think. 
That should be fine, I hope. Thank you for listening to my impression of the goats and stuff. And I'll, and I'll thank you later as well. You're welcome. 69! Oh, goodness. Uh, oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, no. I need some more. Oh, iridium. 540, and then the cheese sells for more than that. Oh, this is small goat milk, not large, so never mind. Still inconclusive. Okay, so hold on, so that almost turned that into cheese. Almost lost money there. Phew. I would have literally cried. Probably got the animal catalog from Marnie. The what? The, the what? The what's it now? The who? Is that even a thing? Is that even a real thing? I don't know, I think you're just making shit up. I should probably leave that bluegrass there. For, for spring. Okay, hold on, don't, don't, don't cut down these mahogany trees. Just the saplings at least. They're very important. Okay, I'll, I'll go to Marnie, I'll see if she even has it. Because I don't think I have that. I don't think that's a thing I can get. I'm pretty sure. Let's go see. I don't even know. What, what does it even do? What even is that? Hey, did anybody move in? The raccoon! The raccoon moved in! Oh my god! Raccoon hungry. <laughs> Need fish. Ooh. Huh. Okay. That book let you use Marnie's shop when she's not working. Uh, oh, okay. I just don't think I have that unlocked yet. Do I? It's not in here, that's for sure. Is it birdhouse? Because where would it be? Somewhere else, right? So, these pigs are trained to find truffles. Oh my god. God, they're expensive. I don't know if pigs can find truffles in the winter. No, they can't, because they can't go outside. Right? <laughs> yeah. Two sheep it is. We got, um... um Greta Chess. Greta Chess! Yep, that's it. Any other names? What other names we got? Wicko. Uh, Willy uh, Wonka. Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Man, I'll send you the pita sheep there for you. And you'll enjoy the sheep when I send them to you. Uh, let's go. I should have brought my horse. Alex. I need that uh, the horse whistle thing, but that's like not anytime soon. <laughs> that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Oh yeah, also since it's a very not good day, like the spirits are displeased, I should go fishing for the for the other legendary fish in the sewers. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And that one's kind of hard, and I did put away all my bobbers, but whatever. It is what it is. I'd have to buy some if it's that difficult, and it probably is, so I'll probably have to go buy some more. Or we'll just go back home and get them. And there we go, lasses! Oh, I can also eat the, the thing. Sorry, fishing. Maybe let's go home and gra gra grab the bobbers. When we're done here, we'll return to the other world. Alright, one more thing left. There's the Buatine Bowed. The most difficult one to get. I should, I sh I'll probably have it basically by like, like the start of spring. Oh yeah, eat that, speed. Speed home! So now I'm broke. So I don't know, if sheep produce wool every day 
and a cloth sells for a 470 or so, or like 500, let's say. Then every day I get a thousand. And if I have like 12 sheep, I'll get like six grand a day just from sheep. I think. If they produce every day, that is. And that would be pretty good. <laughs> What am I doing here? I need a barbers. Chat, we're getting the barbers. Not that one. Uh, oh, we only have one. That's fine. That'll be enough. Trust me. You can you can count on trust me. Yeah. So yeah, do I just do I just get auto grabber? Maybe I can also plant winter forage seeds and get some money. What's the most efficient way to do things? I don't know. My brain can't comprehend. Give patrol, slay 50 bats. Rare and powerful goop known as ectoplasm. I just, I'll kill, I'd rather get the guaranteed kill a bunch of things. Plus I need that for the adventurers guild actually. <laughs> actually. Yay. Ooh, stinky. <laughs> Why the botanist profession? I get like 12,000 a day from my several pigs selling truffles straight up. With the botanist protector. Okay, okay. That's pretty good. A human visitor. This is most unusual. I'm Krobus, merchant of rare and exotic goods. I find things here and I sell them. Care to buy anything? Oh, void eggs and a star drop. But that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Butterfly powder? Sprinkle on a pet to remove them from your farm? <laughs> what? Why not just sell them? Oh, a pet. Like a dog or a cat. Huh. Wizard catalog. Ooh, that's cool. Huh. Man's fucking rich with those prices, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I, I might do something with truffles, like get truffle oil, or I might just send it fully with sheep and wool. So I could just gather it automatically. And then... Yeah, I don't know. It's like I kind of want to have a variety of things, but also... It, it, it would be convenient to just have sheep and rabbits. So then you can just spam wool like crazy. Shuffle, you're better off with artisan profession. That makes sense. Which ones do I have? I got the rancher, animal products, and then the front barn animals faster. And then she produced wool faster. So yeah, I think I'm better off going with a bunch of sheep. Might do some pigs, but I don't know. I think I like the idea of sheep. I'm sure I'll get plenty of money from it anyway. Like, whatever. Who cares about the most efficient thing? I'll just do the thing I wanna do. Fuck you, efficiency! <laughs> I do what I want! And you'll look the efficiency god straight in the eyes and then tell him to fuck off. Cloths also count as artisan. Makes sense. Oh, that's why it's like that. That's why the iridium milk is probably more than the fucking actual cheese. <sighs> the art of turning caffeine into questionable gameplay decisions and questionable gameplay decisions into entertainment. Where you? Where, where's this quote from? Where, where? What is this? What's your source for that quote? That's not where I want that. What am I doing? Why am I being stupid? What if? <laughs> what if one stream I just came on and and I just I, I ate like like ten cups of coffee and I had a had a heart attack live on stream. <laughs> It 
Every day that passes in Stardew Valley, I have to drink a coffee. Hold on, eight? Yeah. You could technically eat coffee, but like, you know, I don't recommend it. <laughs> nah, wait, I do recommend it. It's good. Depends what coffee. Don't eat the cup. I do what I want. It's my cups. I do what I want. My cups. Nah, this is easy, bro. This is the easiest legendary fish catch ever. We've, we've, we've done it, boys. That's it. Now I gotta go slay a bunch of bats. What does this change appearance, right? Change professions. I could try the other thing. I, I, well, I'd have to look them up first. To see what's better. I will not come to stream and drop a quote. Going to be like Ugwe because I lack turtles. Um, so, so, so you just, you drop, you drop a quote once and then you, you piss off forever. <laughs> Guys, this is Noah's last stream. Can we get an amen in chat? He will never show up to another stream ever again. Man, I wish these crab pots would stop getting trash and would get actually stuff I, I need. Cause this is kind of fucked up, I'm gonna be honest. It's kind of, it's kind of fucked up. What do you mean last? There will be videos for us. Uh, yeah, but that's not a stream. Uh, my point still stands. <laughs> I'm still correct. Okay, ja 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 ja. Okay, what the frick? What is you saying, my boy? I do not understand. The most of the fish, that's most of the fish. What the fuck is that fish? What is that one? What is this? The fuck is that? The fuck is that? He's laughing in Spanish, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that how they laugh in Spanish, bro? That's like a One Piece laugh, bro. Swear to God. It's literally how characters laugh in that show. Just fucking sell everything. I can't be bothered. Put that away. Put the, put the fish away. Then put the bobbers and the food away. And we're good to go. Bing bada bam. Did I? No, that shit's full. Hold on. Hold on, wait. No. Yep, there you go. That's good. That's good. That's nice. Anything else to do? I gotta go kill bats, but not today. Because I can't be bothered to do it today. Oh! No! What did I need for the raccoon? Like five periwinkles and a smoked dream? I don't think I have five periwinkles. I might have a smoked dream, but probably not. <laughs> I probably don't, actually. Well, now the boulder is gone. The boulder is ready to receive the- Fuck! I did I, I, Sebastian's birthday. I'm so pissed off. There's a couple of fish you can only find in winter. Squid and lingcod. I think I got both. Of course, there's rumors of extremely rare that can be only found in producers, but I don't have any information on it. I'm gonna have so much fun fishing with the advanced iridium rod, because some guy make 160,000 in a single day fishing for lava eel with it. Holy shit, actually. How do you get so many lava eels, though? How do you not just get consumed by trash? And, and, and like, is that with smoking? Ooh, dried coconuts, let's go. Because now you can smoke things, and you can get smoked lava eels, potentially. And with a book, you can sometimes get row with them as well. Straight up. Okay. But I'm just gonna do that with animals. That's the plan. Animals, animals, looking like a cannibal. <laughs> what the fuck am I looking for? Bream? I'm looking for a bream. bream. And periwinkles I don't got. Well, whatever. Got a fish in the volcano in Ginger Island, probably. 
probably. But would there be the same amount of trash there, or is there just no trash there and it's like super efficient? Because if there ain't no trash, then that's pretty good. I'm like running out of things to put in here. Be a good idea to switch professions someday. Go from artisan goods. Go from animal goods to artisan goods. Why did I go for for that for the wrong one? Why did I go for animal products? I just didn't realize that the the fucking animal products that are turned to artisan products are artisan products. You can't fish up trash in the volcano. We making pickled corn today. Let's go, boys. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff here, that's good. We got the red cabbage for the quest, for the community center, that's nice. And then we just go slay bats the entire day. <laughs> It'll also give me a good amount of money. Which then, I guess I just buy sheep with for now. It's probably for the best. Might want to finish this up as well. And actually have full, full cranberries. Put a bunch of these in here, and then I'll sell just these these ones like that. Okay, perfect. Oh, I can put some straws in here, or I could make more seeds with them. I do like the sounds of that. Okay, well that's the that's the that. There's two things completed on the beauty involved. Do I even want strawberries that much? I'll I'll make a few. I'll make a couple. Sounds good to me. 50 bats. Is 50 bats gonna take me a while? Probably. Okay. How much is this? Four, four, 400. Yeah. Might be a good idea to just switch professions just straight up. Cause like sure it's nice having... Mm, but produce wool faster. Mm. That could be really, like, really good. That could be really, like, profitable. Would it be more profitable the other way? Hmm. We'll actually have so much fun dehydrating blueberries once the updates come to mobile. Yeah, oh yeah, it's gonna be so awesome. <laughs> is it, it is a little expensive to get it started. Because you need, like, fire crystals, like, fire quartz for it and stuff. So it's not cheap. It's not cheap to do. The upfront costs are large. 600. Do I not have a wool that I have in here for comparison? No. I keep selling them. Let's just do this for now and we'll see. I'll have to keep it. So yeah. Uh, I'll have to get like 10 dehydrators in the future. I think that'll be good. Then I can actually like dehydrate the cranberries I've got. I got plenty of fire quark from my crystallarium. That is a good fucking point. I should probably start doing that. I, you know, I did not consider that for some reason. And like, you've really just opened my mind right now to the grander possibilities out there. And I mean, I mean, I'm thankful. Thank, thank you. I don't, I don't know what to say. God damn. No, I have a diamond there right now, but I don't care. I'll get enough diamonds another way. I need more quartz. Nah, don't care. Get that shit out of there. Quite quartz time. I know one is not going to be a lot, but like, it's fine. I could, like, that's, that should have been so obvious that I could do that, but I just didn't think of it for some reason. That's so funny. I just put him here. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I need one more, bro. Ah! Why? And I have, like, no space for ancient fruits. For all I know, I'm not gonna get ancient fruits for, like, a while. That's probably untrue. I mainly use my Crystallarium for Jade and Ruby right now, but I might f do Fire Quarks again to prepare for the update. I'm kind of thinking, I don't know, uh, 
Here, here's the question. Do, do you start the whole game again for the update? Or do you just, you know... Send it from your existing thing. Because I personally like just starting new. Because I, whenever I play this game, I'll 100% it, so it's like... I'd rather just do it. I'm gonna continue my file. Alright. You do you. I do me. <laughs> Funny. We'll need to go for perfection. Ooh. How long does it usually take for updates to, to come to mobile? Probably a while, right? I would, I would assume. Uh, fuck, I didn't, I didn't bring my seeds with me. I need more seeds. Give me a lamp. Yeah. 1.5 took two years to come to mobile. <laughs> Holy shit. Or around that time. That's crazy. Nah, man's gonna be fucking old and crippled by the time the mobile update comes out for this. I'm so sorry, that's, that's fucked up. We also don't have multiplayer. That's fucked up. Mobile is just objectively worse. <laughs> and well, to some extent. That is, that is big unfortunate. If only, if only everybody could have a computer. I gotta get up a C for real, for real. Yeah. For, for, for certain games, yeah, that, that, that is. For most games, I think. That would be very beneficial. Okay, so the, the golden cloth was like 600 or something. That's like 564. Okay, let's keep one, so I'd remember. It is an artisan good, but it, that is a weird place. 564? It feels like it's boosted by something, I just don't know what. Weird. I wonder if I should get... I can also use the cranberries for food. Shit, he's right. I can use them for food in the mines. I will do that. Could also do a bunch of winter forageables for some money, but whatever. Gotta take my horse. Bye, I did My Pam, not today. Should have checked if the spirits are happy and then went to the thing, but I didn't, so it's too late. Now, bats are in the ice area, right? I don't know if there are anywhere else. Or not. There are lava bats, but they would be more difficult to take care of. Okay. We'll just be here for now. Any any good way? 50 bats, though. Oh my god. I spend the entire fucking winter doing this. Well, the entire week, I guess. Also, the bookseller is in, in town, but, like, I don't really care very much. I'm gonna be honest. Overrun with monsters, poggies. No bad store from the looks of it. God damn it! I guess I could just keep going from like thing to thing, right? I don't know if I want to do that. I might want to do that. I'm getting only one bat every few f things. Especially with like a bad weapon. If I had a good weapon, I'd, I'd just blast through everything. I really wouldn't mind, but with a bad weapon, so it's just taking a while to kill stuff. Ooh, secret knot! It's Sam's holiday shopping list. Everyone's favorites Sebastian Frozen Tear, Penny Emeralds, okay. Vincent Grapes, Mom Crispy Bass, and Pancakes. That's not easy to get either of those. Add risotto and roasted hazelnuts and meat cactus. Oh yeah, 
a bat. Let's go look for bats. There's a bat. We've done it. We found a bat. Now we can become Batman. What if you just take the genes of a bat and then insert it into yourself? And then and then and then you'd be partially bad. There's no better helper than a raisin fed Junima. What? What are you saying? Ancient farming secrets line 37. There's no better helper than a raisin fed Junima. What? I know, like, you can automatically farm with Junimos, but, like... Is that is that it? Is that what the note is talking about? That's new. That's what I'm saying. That's so vague. Unless maybe you can... Give raisins to Junimos? How do you get raisins? You just dry grapes? Can you actually just get raisins? I never tried drying grapes. Dehydrating them. Try putting some raisin in a Junimo hut. I don't have a Junimo hut. Yet. And it's not gonna be a while, but like, what the fuck? Haley and Emily, hope you two are doing well. We've sent you your favorite gifts. Pink, pink cake and sunflowers and gemstones and wool for Emily. With mom and dad. Oh boy, this quest is gonna be a bit rough, isn't it? It's only secret row. No, it's Jesus. Okay, we got that one. That's good. I'm just the one the one with the lucky charm, because having more luck is always insane. Especially with caving. So if I get 10,000, should I just... Is it, uh, again, like, I do like the auto-grabber, I, like, I do like the idea of it, I don't really need it right now. For the coop at least, because the coop's like... Fine. It's easy enough to gather. Yeah, maybe I should just save my money, like, like, use my money to upgrade to gold. At least, like, the pickaxe. For, for the, for the cave, the skull caverns. Yeah. That sounds good to me, I don't know. I'll probably get a couple more sheep if I can. Unless my sheep can have babies. Which I guess would be madly convenient. Maybe getting that ectoplasm would have been easier. So far, there's been five bats. And this is the sixth. Oh, I heard one. Actually. Actually, I I just heard a bat. Actually. I need to get like more than ten a day. There's only four days left. That's insane. Shouldn't have accepted the quest, honestly. I, I should have just went to the fucking skull caverns. I think that would have been much better for me. God damn, this is this is another one of those very displeased days. I'm thinking let's just keep sending it through different levels, through different elevator levels. Go in, explore them, see if there's a bat, then go back out. I think that's for the best. Are there areas with more bats? Is the Golden Scythe area, does that have bats? I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, that's another bat. That's good. Don't care about anything else. I can just go in and kill the bat and leave. All the slimes and dust sprites are like, dude, what? You just killed our friend! And only him? Why not us? What the fuck? Where he cave doesn't have bats, I think. Yeah, I think you're, I think you're probably right. Bats, bats, where are the bats? They're just flying rats. Okay, 
Okay, that's nothing here. Wish I could zoom out even more, see the entire cave. I don't even know if bats can be in here, probably. I keep going to the same places? Does it respawn? I don't know. What about these places? There's just some, there's just some dude. Where are all the bats? Bruh! I'm outside right now. What the fuck? Nah, get, get back inside, baby. Okay, nah, this shit don't work. Okay, and the sun was a bad idea. Now, now, why would you do that? You can look at the sun sometimes, but not very often. Only during like solar eclipses, basically. <laughs> like full solar eclipses. Or if it's like really early in the morning, then you can look at the sun. Otherwise, you probably shouldn't do that. It's kind of poisonous for you, I think. Oh, well, we got a bat. How many do we have? 11. I don't want to be in here. Uh, let's go 60. 60. Okay. It's a bunch of iron. I might as well get it. Wish I had a bomb. But I don't got a bomb. Is that it? That our, our, our Mr. Chatterman is, is blind now. Rip. It's, 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 been a, it's been a good one, my boy. That's it. It's the end for you. The end of the line. End of the, end of the sight. Yeah, end of the light. There you go. Yo. Rhyme, rhyme god. <laughs> rhyme master. Never mind. You know what? Shush. <laughs> shush me and shush you. Well, that was a, a day, I guess. I mean, I killed 11 bats. Rhyme Master, Butt Blast, Bruv. What do you mean by that? What? Nah. We got the real Rhyme Master in chat right here. Better not be a Butt Blaster. I don't, know, I don't like that. <laughs> brah. Yeah, brah. Ha ah, ha. Ah. Ooh, look at that money. 15k? Wow! That's sexy. Ooh, I can pretty much buy two sheep with that. <laughs> Unless I could upgrade my thing. I could almost buy two sheep and upgrade the thing. And maybe I can if I sell things to Pierre. Better go have large my bus. I'm researching the forgotten void essence. Brings me void essence. Okay. Okay, big boss man. Okay, big boss man. I do that. I do that, big boss man. I just sell this shit. I'm just selling it. I don't, I don't care. This shit sucks. That is not worth it at all. Uh, what am I bias? What do I do with it? <laughs> do I sell it as well? Put it in here. This? Sell. Yes, yeah, 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 Oh my god, and we're drying the, the, the artisan goods perk quirk would be amazing. Holy shit. Also, why don't I check if it's fortunate day today? Why do I keep not doing that? Mr. Animals and Mrs. Animals and whatnot. Goodbye. Never see you ever again, I hope. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of hay. Hey, mans, when we kill zombos. Hey, mans, when we kill zombos. I don't know. What do you mean by that? Oh, that's what you mean by that. Oh. Man, I don't know. Ooh, large goat milk. Oh my god, that is better than goat cheese. Holy shit. 
Ah, lá um chá. Then cranberry wine, that's good. I'm gonna be rich today. Actually, wait, give me that. I'll sell it to Pierre. I'll be able to buy other things. Yes! Genius! My mind has been expanded thoroughly. Where's Void Essence, though? Let's do that. Let's grab five gold bars. Because I'm spitting bars. What do I do for a few days after that? <laughs> Nah, I'm gonna cave. I'm gonna fail this cave patrol. Fuck it. Fuck it, we fail in the cave patrol, boys. Not gonna happen. Unless... Unless I really... Really try to do it. But I don't want to, kind of. But I kinda do, because it would give me, like, good amount of money. I got soda. Hey, yo. Man's living the life with the soda in hand. And, and Stardew Valley in the other hand, and then, and then, and then more Stardew Valley in, in his eyes. What oh, a thousand doll hair reward, puggies. Hmm. Hmm. Do I do it? Do I dare to do it? Do I dare to upgrade my pickaxe right now and, and fuck the bat quest and just go to the skull caverns? Kind of, kind of, yeah. I'm living the life for real, for real. Yo, yo. Pella. Wait. I do need a pig. Fuck. But I need him in the fucking spring. That's fine. I'll just sell like a cow or something when it's spring. Pepino! Yeah, I'll just replace a few cows, I think, with the pigs in the future. That's fine. Shut! Bruh! <laughs> like, the, what the fuck the game gave that to me, bro? Great, I'll send little Shart to her new home right away. <laughs> Just feeling the sun, the wind on my skin, the soda in hand, and a start valley on the other. Replace these nuts back on your forehead. What? Seriously, what? What do you mean by that? What if I don't want to do that? What if I absolutely refuse to take your me mediocre advice? Whoa. Frozen tear to Emily. Oh, fuck you, Emily. Don't care. Is that Pierre? Uh, buy my stuff. Uh, goodbye. Fuck you, Pierre. When can I parkour with the boys again? I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean, bruh? What do you mean? Is this the other boy alive? Even. Uh, go back, X, please, boss. Thank you. Goodbye. Always alive. Always. Sam's winter portrait is kind of cute, not gonna lie. Okay. Who the fuck is Sam? <laughs> who? Sam who? I don't know. I don't know who that is. I never heard of him. What? Squid fest, yo? I just went here for accidental reasons. This, what the hell? The whole ass squid fest. Kinda oh, cool. Are these the last things I need? Please tell me I'm done. Yes! We've done it, boys! We don't need these shitty ass crab pots anymore. Buggies! Well. That's not necessarily true. I kind of still need them, actually. <laughs> Can't you only get squid in the morning? The squid fishing challenge. If you can hit our daily catch targets, you'll win prizes. Check the sign to the left. We also put special bait in the water, so the squid are active all day. 
Okay, that seems harmful for the ecosystem. Is it you I gotta talk to? Oh, don't mind me, I'm just here for the books, for the prices. So if you get eight, you get iridium coin? What does that mean? I guess let's find out. Can I buy... Can I buy things? I want to buy things. Hello, Mr. Willy, are you in there? I must buy things from you. Dickhead! Oh, I can still buy shit from you. I was about to be so fucking mad because he's like up and going and leaving me. Fucking guy. Fucking guy. We're good. We're good now. We're good. Crab pod and it leveling perk could use a rework, not gonna lie. Very true. Well, I don't know. I think they're supposed to be just like not very not very good. They're just kinda you can earn like a little bit of extra money kind of at the start of the game. But having a perk for it is definitely just not worth it. That I can agree on easily. Let's hit this for more fishing. More fishing powers. Now I will be unstoppable with these infinite fishing powers. Also, speaking of fishing and skills and stuff, god damn. I gotta be like super close to leveling foraging. Same with mining, I think. And I'll just have like one more thing to level. And that's it. I will, I will have all of the things, and I'll unlock a new area, actually. Which is cool. <laughs> a poodle, a poodle, a poodle right here, a poodle right here. Oh my god, guys, a poodle right here. That'd be a squid. Come on, Splatoon. Give me that Splatoon energy and give me all the squid. Hell yeah. Have you got to catch eight? That might take, we might be here a while. Like all day. Crapod could store bait and use one every day. Hit the level 5 perk should let it catch some decent treasure, and level 10 perk should let it double the catch for one bait. Mmm. Yeah, that would be kinda cool. And maybe you could have different baits in the crab pot, maybe even. So it would catch like whatever you want. Like you could make it catch more treasures, for example. Or like, oh my god, wouldn't that be cool? So you have the whole glittering boulder thing, right? That the Junimos remove. And you have a whole panning system. Why not make a like gold panning system with crab pots, right? And then they could give you a bunch of ores and stuff, and then you could potentially sell that for profit and stuff. I hate reloading the bait every day. Yeah, that's truly just awful. Especially if you have like a lot of them, it just ends up being really lame. You can upgrade the pan now, Lamar. Wait, really? The fuck? That's interesting, actually. <laughs> Maybe I'll try that. Because I always hated the pan, it's just so bad. You get nothing of use from it. It's incredible. Yeah. I bet it's still gonna be like that, but maybe just a bit better. Oh my god, this fucking squid, bro. At least it is a squid. Clearly I'm not gonna be catching a lot of them unless, unless I get lucky right now. I can get the lucky ring in the skull cavern anyway, I think. Mm. 
max out luck, bro. Oh, nice. Yeah, I wonder if that's like worth it actually. Having two lucky rings on. And then plus you have a lucky charm. Plus you eat the spicy eel or whatever. To get another luck upgrade. Right? And then on a very happy day, you send it to the skull caverns. That could be that could be a way to go. Could be a strat. But having at least one iridium band is really important, I feel like. Yeah, getting a lucky ring would definitely be good. Magic rock can give you the most luck. Yeah, I can do that as well. I believe this is a squid. And we got a trade. Nice! Ooh. Hey, 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 come back. Hey, hey, stop. You're trolling, bro, you're trolling. Oh my god. Nice! Come on, just four more. Ooh, new artifact, finally. Been damn long, you know? Man, I'm gonna get that gold and pickaxe. I'm gonna go to the spell cameras and be so cool. I'm gonna get an auto petter immediately. And then you're gonna be so upset that I got it instantly that you're gonna quit the stream forever. And I'm gonna be sad. And then no one wins. Except for me, because I got an auto petter. That would be really funny. <laughs> Bubble Man predicts the future with his incredible, uh, nonsensical predictions. Right, hold on, we gotta, we gotta put more of this shit on. What is it? What's going on here? It's too slow, okay. I was ready for it to be a squid and I just send it upwards and it's like, nah, it's just the most chill fish that just doesn't do anything. Seriously, bro? Sure. It's just staying at the bottom. You sure this fish isn't just dead already? Seems like to me. There's four more squid. Oops. Miss Clip. Miss Clip. Miss Clip. I wonder if you do put delicious bait in crab pots and it does good or. Never actually tried. I'm not sure how it would do better. I'm gonna complete Undertale hard mode if you get an auto petter within the first 20 floors. Okay. That's a deal. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. Ah, whatever. Who cares? Okay, this I care about. Go away that. I gotta be full. I'll sort out my inventory a little bit. Nice. The rewards better be good, I swear to god. I'm gonna complete Elden Ring in raid mode if you fish up legendary in the next two fish. There's no legendaries to fish up, bruh. I don't got them. Throw that away. Throw this shit away, who cares. Fucking get this shit out of here, get this shit out of here as well. Whatever, who cares? Put that in there. There you go. Undertale hard mode only have ruins as of now though. The fuck? That's a new thing? I thought that was, that's, all, that's a thing that was already for a while. Interesting. Get wrecked then? Okay then, I, I guess. Oh, I got wrecked. Oopsie poopsie. How unfortunate for me. Poor little old bubble man getting wrecked. Oh, that is a squid, right? I hope so. Chill. No one XD should beat Elden Ring if you caught the legend next spring. I will catch the legend next spring. <laughs> And, uh, we will, we, we will beat Elden Ring. 
Guaranteed. No cap. Straight up. What's the fastest speedrun of Elden Ring? God, that game takes like 80 hours to complete or something. Red one max difficulty, fist only. Summons Elden Ring. No, no summons Elden Ring. My cousin is crying like he's cussing in German. What the fuck? I just like, I just don't have inventory for any of this shit. He would even piss off. He said, fuck off with the ores as well. Oh, no wants this garbage in my inventory. 19 minutes, 30 seconds, Elden Ring speedrun. Holy shit. Is that real? Is that a real speedrun? Real, real glitchless, bruh? Well, it would be funny if you could just run to the last boss and that's it. It's closed. Yeah. I bet I could have sold stuff if it wasn't 5 p.m. I just want. I just don't want to go home. I just want to go catch all the squids today. You know. But I just I'm running out of space here. I don't know what to do about it. Get rid of some of this stuff. It is what it is. Big, big sad life out here. With no inventory. Come on, just three more and I'll never do this event ever again. Unless I feel like it, of course. Which then, maybe I will. <laughs> Come on, baby, you only three more. Come on, come on, bro. Come on, bro. That's not it. Give me the other one. <laughs> Give me the thing that I actually need. That's not it. There's some other fish. Boring as fuck. Oh, this one, this one for sure. I'll catch three in one go. That would be cool if there was a bait that could make you catch two times the fish sometimes that'd be cool I would like that he has only two more <gasps> Jumped. only two more squids is this one? is this a squid? nah it's a red mullet look at that treasure though you kidding me bro? okay okay nice Ooh, what the fuck? Slime gatherer? What does that mean? Came from the sea, but it's still sharp. Plus two attack. And the slime gatherer. That's kind of cool. I wish it was a better weapon. <laughs> that would have been cool. It was just a very, very boring weapon. Garbage. What else we got? Another dressed spinner. Fidget spinner! Just do that, whatever. <laughs> just replace it. That's fine. Come on. That's not it. Come on, easy. These next two, they're gonna be guaranteed squids. Come on, I believe. Yes! I think it's it. It's nice and feisty. Because it's like the only feisty thing right now. Yes, yeah, only one more after this. Yes, yes. I will get the maximum reward. It will happen. I believe. I don't have space for the reward though, probably. God damn it! 
Fuck you, two in a row. Give me the albacore. Give me one more squid. Because I better can turn it in tomorrow. Hopefully. Okay, that's not a squid. The shit out of here. Squid! Manifest squid in your arms. I'm just gonna eat some of these fish. It sucks. Oh my god, it's not a squid, bro. There's a treasure, though, at least, I guess. I'll forgive you this once. Only this once. Garbage. No. Like the other contestants just see me start chowing down on raw fish, bruh. Like, yo, what is this man doing? This is crazy. Okay, lame. Oh my god, bro. It was almost perfect as well. Please. We don't have much time in the day. No. Hurry it up. It has to happen. Is this it? Seems a little more feisty, but not very. Nice. Oh, it's a fucking halibut. Come on. Come on, this one, for sure. Surely. What? Aw. Right, maybe it might be it. This might be it. This might be the one chat. It's not. Okay, whatever. Come on. Oh. Nah, it's gonna be another fucking albacore. And we're gonna be one of them albacurkies. What the fuck, man? Nah, that's not a squid. That's something. That's something much harder. But hopefully, it's just a squid. Please. God damn. Yes. Yes. Squid row as well. Get that shit out of here. All right, I'm out. Unfortunately, I can't collect the. Wait, no, I can actually. <gasps> Cause I have a chest here. I can just send all of this shit. Oh my god, I could have done that from the very start and I just kind of didn't realize. Oopsie poopsie. I can try the dagger thing, but mm, nah. Don't care. Hello, good sir. I've done it. Good rewards. Oh! Whoa, there you go. You got the art of crabbing. Crab pods have a 25% chance to yield a double. That's kind of cool. Pretty good. Ah, uh, Splatoon reference. Our coffee, we got a pearl. Ooh, 2500 for that? That's kinda cool. The show of the sea, we got winter seeds and deluxe bait. Nothing that's very good. <laughs> what do you get afterwards? You know what? Don't care. I've had enough. I've had enough of this bullshit. Yeah, book. I can actually use it. <laughs> Let's go! You've learned a new power. <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay. Can we put everything away? Uh, mostly, mostly, yeah. Mostly, yeah. So I'll just keep the coffee to keep drinking. Uh, mystery boxes will go there. Pearls can go in here, why not? And then this goes here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything's figured out. Everything's everything's happening. Got eleven mystery boxes and four damn art artifact troves. That's gonna be good. 
Yeah, there's a squid fest tomorrow as well. And then there's a night market. There's a lot of fishing events going on in winter. I'm gonna be honest, there's a lot of fishing going on. It's a bit fishy. Yeah, just squid fest, fortune teller. I don't care. Would have been nice to go to Skull Caverns, but I don't got the pickaxe. I just sleep for another whole day. <laughs> I have some things that I should probably take care of, though. I'm gonna always cut down a bunch of trees and stuff. I'm gonna keep petting the animals for higher rewards. done. Now the other animals. I have a bunch of sheep. Once they start producing, man, I hope I hope I got a bunch of money. I hope I do. Right. Thank you. Goodbye. I don't need to close that, but it's too late. Tell day. Turn the rest into other things. Yes. Perfect. Anything else? Nope. Sell all of that and we're good to go. What else do we need to do? Back up on this. <laughs> See if there's more cranberries. There's not. Cut down some trees then. Maybe I can max out foraging. Maybe. Wouldn't that be splendid? I don't want to get rid of all these, but also just want to do them when they're like properly fully grown. To get more wood. But am I even going to need wood anymore that much? Can I live without it? Maybe. We gotta clean everything up. So I gotta go buy hay, kind of. I don't really, for now. But I gotta go gather gay. Good hay. Gotta go gather gay. Yep. That's what I meant to say. Oh, we got sunglasses. Hell yeah. That's it. That's the one. Now I'm sick as fuck. Let's go gather some gay for real. Yeah. Gather all the gays. And then, I don't know. Have a tea party, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Sounds, sounds about right to me. <gasps> There's a bridge here! Oh my lord! <laughs> when the fuck did this happen? That's fucked up, what? Nah. Clean this shit up, clean this shit out. Not like I need this place for anything for a while. I could put a barn in here, I'm sure I could fit one, yeah. It seems like it's the right size, that's funny. Devs fit some stuff, that was, that was good. Congratulations, you can go to Grandpa Shrine now. Thank you so much, very cool, very appreciated, very nice. I still am thinking that you can go over there. It's just like, it just looks like it, right? It just straight up does. Like, if there was a bridge, like, right, you could just you could go off screen and stuff over there. Looks like uh, you would be able to go somewhere. Nah, no, no way, right? No way. Surely not. Nice. It's pennies, handwriting, I want to get everyone something they love. Uh, stuff. Love things and stuff. Very good, very useful. I will make sure to give them the thing that they like for their birthday. And then I will become good friends. 
then they will send me all the recipes. Yeah, this actually has a note. Bobo, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year, Grand Pop. Basically, only one more year to go, and we'll see him. Very cool. Then it better be maxed out. It's gonna be maxed out, right? Surely. There's gonna be four candles immediately, is what I'm thinking. I believe it. I believe it wholeheartedly. This is a good cleanup sesh. And then after I go get the hay, go go hather all the gay. It'd be so cool. It'd be so cool. I wonder if the bridge was always there. That would be really funny. I was wondering, like, does, is, does the bridge get repaired when you repair the Junimo bridge? Like, to the quarry? Or does it just... Is it just there from the start and I just didn't notice? Because I looked around and I just didn't see anything ever. I just heard about the terrorism situation in Europe. Uh huh? Oh, wait, I was going on? I was going on? There's just a bunch of terrorism going on in Europe right now. The bridge has been there from the start. Fuck. Nah, only appeared now. Nah, you're lying. <laughs> I've decided, based on no information whatsoever, that actually... Also, the mushroom tree fucking died. I've, I've decided that... The bridge appeared here one day when I repaired something. Yep. That is my honest opinion. Can you get brims in winter? I don't think you can, can you? That'd be nighttime in the river. If I were if, if I were to try. Or like raining or something. No, it's raining, it's nighttime. There you go, 100, 100 hay. That should be good for a little bit, at least. Maybe enough for the rest of the thing. For, for the rest of the season. I don't know about that. That's, that's coming close a little bit. Ah, there's some more over here. Yeah, it should be good. I'll leave patches here and there so they would grow more. Always good to have grass. Alright, I guess that's, that's the end of the day. Maybe there's other rewards for fishing if you do it like two days in a row. Like on the second day they have different rewards. But... I'm not gonna do that, so I guess whatever. What is this one again? Fishing experience, don't need it. I'll need foraging. I'm amazed I'm not maxed out foraging yet. It's like... I've probably read like five foraging experience books. They clearly don't give a lot. I've cut down many trees. Clearly they don't give a lot either. This just is not fair. This is bullshit. I don't like it. Harvey's birthday and the uh, thing is complete and we got chocolate cake! What better way to spend these cold winter nights than digging your way through a rich chocolate mountain? With my help, you'll be well on your way to creating the finest cake you've ever laid your eyes on. Now, you're going to need a lot of sugar. A mountain of sugar. They're neutral today. The day is in your hands. Alright. Well... What does Harvey like? Maybe you can build it, something with it. Okay. Starting tomorrow, traveling merchant, free coffee and stuff. Very nice. Can I just sell these like this? I don't care. Um. Okay. Parkour's going good. That, that going good. Okay. 
I guess I'll go to your boy. I'll unlock all the geodes and stuff. I think that's a good idea. Could also upgrade something else, or I just save money for another barn, maybe. I'll just do that. It'll be fine. Whatever my decision is, I'm sure it'll be the best decision that I have ever made. Oh! How much the sheep have grown? It is time. It is time for the wool apocalypse. Where I get infinite wool. From the sheep that I have. Yeah, just keep, leave that open. Leave that open, bro. Okay, perfect. This I can just sell. How's the wool? Plus is 564. Okay. Anything above, above gold of the wool, sell it. Alright, same with large iridium and gold, gold milk. Okay. Now we're pickling some... Well, we're making juice, right? No, it's not juice. We're making jelly. Have this. Perfect. There, okay, that's everything. Goodbye! Oh, we send it. We send the wool over here. I'd be able to harvest the cranberries. Yeah. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, geodes. Geode time. Omni geodes, magma, and, and, and normals. We got the uh, treasure troves and mystery boxes. And we send it. And I don't believe there's much else to do today. Hopefully. Okay, some forage. Yes, I'll, I'll grab it. I don't even care about grabbing that, honest. It's kind of meh. Wait, that's not where I want to be. <laughs> you, it's locked still. Hold on. Let me in! Please? Oh my goodness. That was the longest 10 in-game minutes of my life. You received a golden pickaxe. Yes, I have. Oh, don't get it! Straight up need that. Well, I need two of that, actually. Uh, please give me another one. So let's do these normal geos first. A hammer tile, we got earth crystal. Got germalite. There's close enough. Mudstone. Got clay. Got roof crystal. We got a. Uh, we got one of them orpen elements. Yeah. Yeah, I remember these now. Got a dwarf helmet. I think I already have one. Yeah. One roof crystals. Always good. Got a glacite jewel. Because now I'm Celestine. I'll remember. You leave the best stuff for last, you know? I might not have space for it, which would be unfortunate. Yo, Iridium! It's one, though. I don't think I have that. Hellvite? Yeah, oh. Ooh. Oh, let's go! We can do a farm computer! We can make a farm computer! Oh my god. Buggies! Okay, nah, this is too much. Okay, let's go. Let's go give a lot of it away, sell the others, and then, and then break open the rest. Hello! I don't have many things to give you, but I'll give you what I can. Yay, new reward! What do you have for me, good sir? Fucking garbage. Man, a lot of it I already had, huh? But I got a lot more new ones. So, all of them. Boom. Perfect. Process guilds. Got a starfish. I got glass shards. Awesome, awesome. Ooh, a golden pumpkin. What? Okay. 
A full on treasure chest? Whoa. Okay. I like that. We got a whole ass treasure ship, bro. Holy shit, that's awesome. Okay. Another one? What is happening? What do you mean, bro? I got two treasure chests. Nah, bro, that's like 20 grand at least right there. Holy shit. I'm gonna be rich. We're rich. Boys, we're rich. Okay, wow, that's the best mystery box opening I've ever had. Just straight up. Okay, I was hoping another one. That would have been funny. And to finish it off, we got another treasure chest. Holy shit. Go put some stuff away. And then... Maybe we can go to the desert again. If Pam... If Pam allows that to happen. For us. Get the shit out of here. This shit sucks. Golden pumpkin, crystal fruit, treasure chest, some of that, and we're good to go. I'll just sell that. I don't think I don't give a gunther glass shards the fuck. I just missed it. Oopsie poopsie. God damn though, that's awesome. Straight up gonna be loaded tomorrow. Am I just what would I do with it? Do I just get another auto grabber with all the money? Do I just upgrade more stuff? I just auto grabber for now. And then, or maybe barn. Hmm, are we getting more money? That does sound really, really appealing, I'm not gonna lie. That's a wallpaper, that's a consumable, and that's a dwarf gadget. And we got a farm computer, ladies and gentlemen. Kinda ran out of um, refined quartz because of that, but whatever. It's worth it, it's worth it. I'll just get some more when I need it. Rumple Ding Farm, pieces of hay, that many total crops, three. Crops ready, zero. Okay. Farm gear ready, yes. Machines ready, one? Oh. Kill, kill, kill. Harvey's birthday. Right. Uh, let's think, what, what might he need? Mom, um, Jazz, Vincent, Mr. Molnar? Granny Molnar? Oh, those people, okay. Uh, everyone's favorites. Hmm, but Harvey isn't here. Alex's strength. Maybe I'll just give him a pearl. And that's universally loved. It's an expensive gift because it's like 2500, but it is universally loved. I just don't know what the fuck Harvey likes. Can I remember? It's probably something like weird. Or maybe he likes salads actually. Maybe he loves salads. Or coffee? I don't know. I could see him loving coffee. But that is, that is risky, because if it's not something he likes, he'll be very upset because it's his birthday. He's only at one, though. He does love it, though! Oh, yes! I figured it out. Oh, well, thank you very much. I didn't expect anyone to know it was my birthday today. Ah, oh, yes! I risked it, then it paid off, baby. Buzzing. This final day about the bats, don't care. Going to the skull cavern, my boy. It's happening. I have generally empty inventory. I don't have many heals, so... Maybe I should buy some, actually. If I can. If this man is ever gonna open. Please, Mr. Gus, please! I must enter your 
fine establishment. I need it so badly. Oh my god, what was that sound? Jesus. Got it. Ah, he has to be there. Come on, man. Chop, chop, bro. Chop, chop. Chop, chop, bro. Just so slow. Yes. Give me 10. That's fine. I'll be rich tomorrow anyway. Just you wait. Could also dig up the, the secret note, but whatever. I'll do it some other time. Right now we gotta we gotta go to the caverns. I don't expect it to be like an insane day, but I should hopefully be able to one shot the rocks at least. With the golden pickaxe, I really hope so. If I can't, that would be wildly unfortunate. get cactus fruit around here I guess. Might as well. Oh my goodness. Page from someone's diary. There are only a few older bachelors in town. Harvey is really anxious and weak but I know he would make a good husband. He likes coffee and pickles. Bruh. He likes crab cakes and pomegranates. And nice likes beer piece and pepper poppers. Bro, why she stopped so far from the bus stop? Is she blind, bro? That's what people do in real life. Come on. It's realistic. This game is realistic. People fucking send it. Pull like 300 miles an hour. Send it into the bus stop. Fucking on the way there. Do a little backflip. Do a little drift. And then you're there at your destination. And he also opened the doors. While they're drifting, just send everybody flying. And I can't one-shot these rocks. That's great. I'm so happy. Can you tell how happy I am? That I need an iridium cax to do this shit. I'll bring bombs when it's a very happy day. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna blow the happen. Oh! There is a thing. Boogies. Oh, I need something good, crates. God, this is gonna take a while. Please stop taking a while. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. Game. Oh, nice. I'm, kinda, um, I'm hoping more for like some holes. a hole or two and i'll get really deep down and i got all the iridium and i will get all my things with iridium and it's gonna be super cool and awesome puggies and all the rest of the iridium i have i'll sell it for massive profits and it's gonna be super cool just you wait just you bloody wait oh it was just a ladder okay okay boss Ladder. Honestly, <laughs> if there was a mod to zoom out even more, that would be the way to play. If you just enter a cave and you can see everything in the cave, like... Easy dub. Easy cave exploration. All the other levels, I got the ladder, like, before I even got there. One game. There it is. Ooh, fire quartz. You need a lot of land. Jump right in! Eight levels! Poggies! Get some cactus fruit to not get one shot by something. 
Thank you very much. I don't like these mummies all over the place. I don't, I don't like this. Hold on, hold on. This isn't good. This isn't a good level. I don't like this level. Chat, chat, I don't like this level. Chat! Oh, we got mummies. I can't, I can't kill them. They're unkillable. They're literally unkillable. Fuck. Ah, he's off. He's off. Ah, they're super tanky as well. Nah. Wait, what? Wait, what? He died? Why did he die? Is it because I have Crusader on? Wait, is that actually it? With Crusader, do mummies die? Can I actually kill mummies? No way. Or was that a fluke? What was that? I do not have to blow them up anymore. I'm confused. I've been bamboozled by this game. Nah, you, you fucking just stop living, bro. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Ooh, you've got some new ideas to sleep on. That's good. It's a combat level up. That means we're going to be level 8 on combat. I could also, whenever I go into caves, I could technically use monster musk or whatever. That makes less monsters appear, right? Fuck, there's another thing spawning. Uh, where is it? The monster musk. What is this? Quality bottle. What's the quality of this fish that you catch? Pretty is on to draw more monsters. Never mind. thought it might be the opposite of what I just said that it does. Just like, just, just piss off. Please? Thank you. Oh my god, bro. Stop spawning the game. Please. What is this shit? I don't like fighting them. They have too much knockback. God, bro. There you go. Please, no more. Please just give me an exit. Yes. We've done it. Get the slimes. Get all the easy to break rocks. And then start mining the hard to break rocks. Probably the way to go about it. Good strats, good strats out here by Alboba man. I'll just break all the one-shot rocks wherever you go. If you're walking past the one-shot rock, just go go after it. Okay. Unless there's just a conveniently placed ladder. Anything else in here? Oh, very empty. There are some crates that I gotta get. Because they could contain... They did contain... Don't they contain like the, some of the best loot in the game? I don't know if they contain auto petters. I do know that they contain lucky rings and stuff. And like probably, probably other things as well. Definitely worth breaking. must have like a massive loot table, don't they? If you like have every single item in the game, there's a possibility when you're breaking a crate. Yep, I'll just stand by that. Can I just get a ladder down? Can I just get a way down, please? I still got to level 17, that's not too bad. The new pickaxe didn't really help in any way. But whatever. Oh, we still got it. Maybe I'll be able to upgrade it by the end of winter. Oh my god, how tanky can you be? Oh shit. You have like, like a thousand health or something. I just hit him so much, it's insane. Ah, 
definitely gonna need to change all my professions to better ones, for sure. A little expensive right now though, so... Not gonna happen. Great! And one tap rock. Man, this one's empty. That's good. More ladder chances, I guess. Fewer things to mine for the ladder. I can't accidentally just dig everything. Come on. Come on, bro. You're trolling, bro. Yeah, nice. Perfect. Ooh, a couple of magma geos. Lovely. Now, come on, get these ghosts away from me. I don't believe in them, so they should disappear. That's my logic. No ghosts, no problems. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, can I actually kill mummy? Yeah? Okay. I didn't actually know that. <laughs> but that doesn't make sense. I am using the holy blade. <laughs> That's actually really convenient. Generally not a good sword, but... You can at least kill mummies with it. Not too bad. I wonder if it does more damage against ghosts as well. That'd be kind of cool. Cleanse these lands from these filthy afterlifeians. Can I make it to level 25? Probably not, unless I get lucky. Doesn't matter. Do you get a lot from it? You do get some money. Oh God, the slime is gonna take a while. Same with this boy. Plus I'm dying. Please, please, boss. Please, boss. Thank you, boss. Ooh, a bomb. Okay, now nah, I'm out. I was thinking just get a cave exit right here. Nope, not gonna. You know what? It is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. Can't get to level 25 just yet. With bombs, I could. But I just don't have. I'm not using them right now. Yeah, whatever. Not, not very successful, that's for sure. Didn't get any iridium, I don't think, like, at all. So that's, uh, unfortunate. Right, yeah. I got one, I got one iridium, bro! Fucking one! You've got to be kidding me, bro. That's nothing. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll have super good luck because the spirits will be super happy. And then if the spirits are happy, I'm happy. Also, there's a festival tomorrow, so I don't even know what to do. Slam incubator, that's kind of cool. And, oh my god, wait, what? What did I sell? Oh, the treasure chests, right. Holy shit, 20 grand, boys. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. I'm so happy about that. I was so lucky. I'm very happy today. Okay, we're sending it to the desert, boys. That's it. Let's talk geo. Geos are all stones that often contain valuable minerals. A blacksmith can open them for a fee. As different kinds of geos, each one yields different subset of minerals. The rare Omni Geode, however, can contain every kind of mineral. Alright. Standard information. Quartz, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, Quartz, get the fuck out of here. Okay, let's do farm some, some farm chores. I am probably going to grab some bombs. Um, no, we sending, we sending the caves. Yeah. yeah, we're good to go. Why 
25,000, what can I do with that as well? Because I might be able to build something, actually, now that I think about it. Hmm. I don't know. I said, where's my fucking... Where's my wool, bro? What the fuck? I was promised more wool than that. Uh, duck feathers as well. And the cranberries. All the maids. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna definitely replace the eggs with rabbits, because it's annoying having so many things. Just like having like different sizes of eggs, different qualities of eggs. Those different colors of eggs. Nah, it's too much. Let's get rabbits, get infinite wool. And rabbit's feet, and, and, and potentially duck feathers, but... Uh, the other one. Okay. We've got stuff to do. We gotta get some bombs and go into the caves. I'd also like to build another barn. Or I could get an auto grabber. God damn, that's so expensive. <laughs> yeah. I keep opening this wrong thing. I can use blackberries actually. Also, I should have tried to dry grapes for the raisins. Make raisins. Yeah, let's use blackberries for energy right now. And let's common mushrooms, actually. Common mushroom? Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I guess I'm building another barn. I think. Right? I don't know where to do it right now. On the other side of the greenhouse, I guess. Is that a good idea, though? I actually don't think it is, is it? Maybe for now it's fine. Because my, 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 my thinking process is just... Okay, well, we get the barn, but then we have to, like, upgrade it fully, basically. Gotta get a bunch more animals. We already have a barn set up. Technically. And it's just you can buy a bunch of sheep for it and replace all the cows. Get infinite wool money. I don't know if I want to do that. I think screw it for today anyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna send it I'm gonna send the skull caverns. Fuck it. Fuck it, we ballin'. I know the mar night market's around today as well, but I don't care. Come on, Pam, you're here, right? Come on, Pam. Come on, Pam. You know you want to come on, Pam. I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna throw it away. Just for that foraging speed. Oh, she's right there, bro. Oh, she's right there, bro. Oh, she's, she, she's there. She's already there. Come on, game. You're trolling, game. You're actually trolling. It's the day of the trolling. Oh, why are they out of business? Oh, maybe that's just because I'm driving here. Right? Oh, what the fuck? Do they take a break on Mondays or night market? Closed until the 18th for the Pelican night. Oh, okay. Why do I? Did you have to do it like that, bro? But okay, you gotta go to the night market. Is that only open at night, or is it all day long? Let's say night. So it's gotta be at night. Whatever. Oh my God, bro! Seriously? You're seriously doing this to me right now, bro. Wow. Decades. 
Not even anything to blow up. This is such an empty cave. Uh, here, there's a small little, little patch. Drink the coffee as well. Why, why not? Nice, nice, nice. Going more? Oh, goodness. Oh, my fucking lord. Nah, I'm fucking out. Just let me leave. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why are there so many of them? Stop! Stop! Nice. Under three levels. That's not a lot. Unlucky. Nope. Okay, cool. And the bomb there. Another note. Nice. We got a part still near for my greatest invention yet. Strawberries. I don't think you need strawberries for that. I should have just dug through. Alright, send it, send it, send it, boys. Fuck the dinosaur. Don't care. I'm not strong enough to take care of them right now. Uh, there's a little cherry bomb right there. Then another one. There's the, okay, it doesn't unlock anything. Let's send another one. Get diamonds, why not? Send it. Uh, do a little bomb here. Do another little bomb here. Oh my god, I'm dying. Let's eat some, let's eat some common mushrooms. I'm a little bit dying. Okay. Another little bomb right there. Yes, perfect. A little cave. A little, a little hole. Come on, four levels. Not too bad. Not good, though. Blow these up. Nice. Okay, perfect blow up spot. More coffee. I wish I had more coffee than this, but I guess it's good enough. It's gonna have to do. There's a lot of boxes here. I like that. There is a bat, though, which I'm a little scared of. I'm gonna be honest. I'm pretty sure they do, like, a half of my health. So it's gonna, like, two-shot me. Not a prismatic bat, though. It's only a lava one. Maybe it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. There's two of them, though. Come on. Come on. Come on, bre. Let's go, let's go. Too many bats, it's kind of annoying. Where's the feckin' exit? Not even any good places to blow up anymore? Serious, bruh? Oh my lord, you're trolling, game. You're trolling. Nah, I'll put one right there. Oh, perfect. Oh! We got our iridium, boys! Ooh, another hole. Nice, nice. How do you craft big bombs? Now that I'm thinking about it, just a bunch of iron and coal. You could just do it, I guess. Especially if you're in the- if you're in these mines, I'm sure you could get enough. Alright, surely. How much do I get? Unless it gets delivered into my mail, actually. That might be the case. A bunch of mushrooms. Very slow and inefficient, but whatever. Don't care. I'm a bit, I'm a bit poor right now, so I gotta, you know, I just gotta... Do things with the things that I have currently. Do what I can with my current state of existence. Yeah, sure. I speak good. <laughs> I speak good. Oh God, why are you like this? Yeah. Yeah, you thought you could get me, bitch. That's some like bombs. Yes, 
Get me the fuck out of there. Okay, just blow all that up. I think some of those... I think all of these are like crabs as well. This is fucked up. Oh my god, dude. Give me a fucking exit game. I don't wanna fight this garbage, Jesus. <gasps> I'm dying! So much dying! Dig it. And these guys do a fuck lot of damage, do they? Nice. Prehistoric vertebrate. Oh my god, that crab is insane. Crab cakes, though. I wanna, well, I wanna have a little bite of that. Right now, yeah, might as well. More defense and speed. Okay, now let's just blow him up. Nah, he still does all the fucking damage. Piss off. Just, just please, please stop spawning them, please game, or just give me, oh, give me a good weapon, how about that? For free, free of charge, right? Sure. Okay. Not really any dense areas for rocks, but I guess that's not important, <laughs> that's not necessary. And send a little bit of bomb there. That was good, that was good, and get the gold. Hold on. Jigger nuts. The star drops for rules, special orders. Okay, cool. I'm gonna send a bomb right here. Blow out everything. And be sexy. Night market is now open. This is problematic if I skip a day. A little bit. I don't know. I, it's so weird. It's a weird conundrum because I, I I do need to go to the night market because it's like obviously a one one time occurrence per year. But also I'm doing really good in the caves here. But I think I think I gotta go to the night market since it's a one time event per year. Oh, you know, I have all spring to explore this place. Seventeen iridium. I think I actually do have enough to upgrade the pickaxe. And since I actually didn't spend the money, I actually have enough money for for now. Maybe not soon, but for now I have enough money to actually upgrade the pickaxe. So with a maxed out pickaxe, going to the mines would be much easier. So I guess I'll do that. Screw all the other upgrades, who cares? Okay, let's put everything away. We're gonna go to the Nurn Marker. The Nurn Marker. Okay, yeah. Sounds good to me. Sounds very, very good. Put the bomb somewhere else that's, that you're not gonna accidentally blow up the base with. Uh, let's grab some some bobbers, some dressed spinners stuff and sure a trap bobber, why not? Let's send it. Small fishing time as always. Fishing time all year round. Always fish all the time. Never stop fishing. It's like my main profession basically. Kind of ridiculous a little bit. Any quests on the quest board? Sure is. Probably not gonna do them, but I'll think about it. Giant, I'll need two dozen eggs. Okay, that's just super easy. I need some crystals to channel the right energy. Do you think you could lend me a hand? I'll do some eggs. 
Oh, well, let's go to eggs. It's easy peasy. 24 eggs. Not a problem. Now, what's going on in here? Got a bunch of things to buy. We've got a, a return home thing. Got eggs and goat cheese and stuff. Caviar. Am I gonna need that? I'll just make it myself if I do. Um, okay. A bright piano for a hundred grand? Yes, please. A rare crow? I think I have that one. I don't really want to spend any money yet. There's that the whole dance thing with the mermaids, but I really don't feel like watching it right now. <laughs> Just straight up. Let's get some coffee in me. <gasps> oh my god, I, I hiccuped. Alright, please sir, let us go down. Let us please go down, please sir, let's go down. Stars box, okay, go down. Very expensive, fuck you. You are a scammer. Was there? Is this Iron Lung? Are we playing Iron Lung right now? Bruh. Almost did it perfectly. Three different fish for me. Easy peasy, right? That's the first one. Oh, fish. It'd be nice if I can just get all of them immediately, but I kind of doubt it. I wonder if the treasure is different down here. Probably not. Probably all the same all over the place. Okay, yeah, the night's good. <laughs> One more. Duels of the sea. Good. Yeah. Not so good. 320. It's not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh god. Come on. Oh, you fucking dick! You dick, stop! My fucker! Oh, that made me mad. Oh, that upset me. And that was it. I think that was the blobfish. Or maybe it was something else. But it might have been the blobfish. Gotta go with the trap bobber to make sure I catch everything I, I get. Come on. Oh. Oh my fucking god, bro. Please? Let's go. You fucking... Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. Just give me the thing I want. Are you serious, bro? You're actually tro... What the fuck is going on with this shit? Also, when I put on the dress spinner, we got an impossibly difficult fish. When I put on the, the trap bobber, it fucking gives me seaweed. Are you kidding me? Bruh, this fucking game is trolling. Come on. It's so possible. It's so doable. Please. Please just stay in the green bar. Please. Dig head. Come on. Come on. Yes! It's just a super cooking map. Bruh. That's fucked up. So give me a blobfish. Please? Pretty please, give me a blobfish. That's not a blobfish. That's a cucumber. Give me a blobfish. And I will never fish here again. And it will be so nice and very good. Okay. Oh, oh. Hey. Hey, stop that. 
Please be blowfish. You fucking dick. You're the first to like immediately, bruh. And then the third one just doesn't want to do it. You just don't want to be in my inventory. Don't want to be my friend. I'll see how it is. Fishing tackle worn out. Please give me blobfish. Please, boss, give me blobfish. Wait, hold on. No, you piece of shit. Please give me blobfish. Fish, bruh. Oh my god, why you give me seaweed, bro? Where's the fish, bruh? Huh? Where is it, huh? I'm gonna risk it and go to like 1 a.m. That's probably a bad idea. I fall asleep in here, I'm gonna lose all my money. He's right. That would happen. I just one more. Also, this would be a perfect time to to get the iridium pickaxe because if I'm just fishing for a while I don't really have much to do for the entire day I guess take us back up Mago boy how fast do we go up? pretty slow alright unfortunate no, no blobfish I got most of them I'll get that one I don't know what the fuck these two are, that one is. I don't know what those two are. And that one. Might be three new fish in the ginger islands. And aside from that, I'm not sure. Not sure what else I need. I know four, f if that's the case then, I know four fish that I don't have. Oh, that's the legend. It's five fish. So, the legend blobfish, probably void salmon. And then maybe three or four in the in the, in the other area. Oh. Probably correct. I need anything. I'll just sell all of it, I think. Put in a couple of those and I'll sell the rest. Yeah. Earn a bit of money for myself. That's what's up. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck to do all day then. I mean, I could keep going into the mines, but like, you know, keep going into the mines for like a couple of, a couple of iridium ores every day. And then having to go back for midnight fishing. Nighttime fishing. Kinda of fucked up. I'm mildly perturbed. What do I do all day? 10,000? Okay. I'm just rich suddenly. Nah. I could just build another barn and I can upgrade my pickaxe. Like, could, could there be a better reason? <laughs> I'll just upgrade everything. Get all the stone and, and wood. Oh yeah, could, as I said, I could just start decorating the place actually. Just spend time doing that, I guess. Hey, grapes. Let's see if I can get raisins. There's a secret note that mentioned raisins and giving them to Junimos. But I don't really have Junimos or raisins. So I don't know. Have to find out. 
Hello, I'm a nose. Very cool. Give me your eggs. Very cool. Thank you. Goodbye. Make sure not to turn them into mayo, because I actually need the eggs. Great, I don't need the eggs. Hello, sheep and cows and goats and things. I take your role. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Good haul. Do I need wool for anything? Why not? I guess I could give it to the lady. Emily or whatever. I can just give her other things, I'm pretty sure. Like gemstones. And milk. milk. Yeah. Right. Throw away the things, go to Robins and stuff. Can go to Gunther and the community center, complete a couple of things, might as well. Let's see, there is a spot there for... We got a spot for the barn, for future barn. You know what they say, a snowy valley is a happy valley. Smiley face. Eee. Dude, they're so right. Is that an original quote? God damn. That's that's such a that's such a A quote of all time. <laughs> so crazy. Like, I don't think you understand the power of the of the quote. I don't think anybody does, honestly. I don't think even I do. It's it's beyond human comprehension. Shit out of here. It was just teleported. Or maybe not. I mean teleport. I mean ridden the minecarts. Like a normal human. Ten red slimes. Is that worth it? That is a thousand two hundred fifty bucks. That's something to do all day while I'm waiting for the night market to open up. You know what? I might take you up on that out for Mr. Gus. Not Mr. Whoever needs to do that. Gunzar! Where is Gunzar? You gotta have some glass shards up, apparently. You're welcome, my boy. And you give me nothing in return. Nothing. Disgusting. Mysteries of the Dwarves. Something about sky people. Some other shit. Oh my god, bro. Highlights from the Book of Yoba. Oh my god, bro. Oh my lord. Marriage guides for farmers. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. That's so long. <laughs> my lord, you can really expect me to read all that? That's great. Who the fuck are you? Yes, I picked up cranberries wine at the store last night. My mom wanted something good for dinner. I tried to stay indoors as much as possible during the winter. I hate being cold. Finge, could you, could you, at, least, could you at least get out of my way? Mrs. Penny. That even is your real name. Alright. 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 I'm ready. I'm ready to catch the blobfish tonight. It's gonna happen. And if it doesn't, I guess I'm uninstalling the game. That's it's just that simple. Uh, not that one. Not that one. Not because I did all the ones that weren't the ones I needed. Feed my car. Boom. Two more items. Yippee. That was gonna be a little more difficult to get the truffles, but the pomegranates is just gonna happen next spring. In like two weeks, I'll have them. Lovely. I didn't upgrade my pickaxe yet. I'll have to go do that. Okay, you give me the pen. I don't really care. Goodbye. <laughs> it's the shittest item in the game, honestly. And a lost book. Fine. Burn. We gotta burn. Any other... I'm gonna place one somewhere here, probably. And then here. And one there. 
and then one here, and one over here, and one over there, and another here. This is gonna be cool. I'm gonna have like a million barns everywhere. And it's gonna be really cool. Because there's a million barns everywhere. Alright, thank you for the barn. Goodbye. What do you have? Wood chipper, don't need mini fridge. Nah, I don't need that. Yeah, I don't need any of this. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mrs. Lady Person, whoever the fuck you are. Let's, let's go see. Is my iridium done? It probably isn't. It probably takes like a whole day to, to grow, to, to smelt. And I probably only put it on in the morning. Probably. I'm probably correct. Unfortunately, yep. I so sad now. Okay, I'll just uh, put this shit away. Uh, seed maker. Uh, I don't really. Okay, put it there. I'm gonna say I don't have anywhere to put that. Mm, but I lied. I figured it out. All right, let's let's get this cloud. I'm making a good amount of money, but I would like more. And once I get a couple more bonds, it'll be good. Like holy shit. Couple more barns and it'll be good. Life will be a dream. Alright. Let's let's kill the slimes, I guess. I can get some gold in the meantime. Maybe I can just sell the gold. Should I just sell gold? It feels like such a weird thing to say, because generally you don't want to sell the ores, but like what am I gonna use a bunch of gold for? Like straight up, what am I gonna use a bunch of gold for? I, can, I think you can use it for mega bombs. I don't want to make any though, so. So there, that's, there's that. And I'm trying to speed run through here. I just need slimes. Potentially gold, yeah. Gold as well. Wait, this, I've already got a thing along. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. And I am thus fast. Only two hits and we got gold. Yeah, I think I'll just sell it. How much does it sell for? No, not very much. I mean, it's seven, seven pieces for like a couple hundred bucks. Like 25 per gold. And then, I don't know. Maybe smelting them would be worth it? I don't know. Potentially. Let's go. Ooh, another diamond. It's always nice. It's gonna be gifts for a, a, a couple of people. Ooh, did I just max out mining? I sure did. <laughs> oh, that is gonna be beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yes, finally. One more skill maxed out, man. I cannot believe foraging takes so long to max out. It is just like ridiculous. Like I'm foraging here and there. I'm cutting down like many, many trees. And like, I even read the books that I get that give me foraging XP and I still don't get enough foraging XP. It's insane. It's actually maddening, bro. Maybe it's not worth selling though, it's only like a thousand bucks. Like honestly, that is that is straight up garbage. Like I, I'd get a thousand bucks from like a couple of eggs. Oh god. Oh god, my defense. Oh god, they're gonna one-shot me. Can anything one-shot you in the game? I don't know. Your full health, probably not, right? I would hope not. Jesus, that would be scary. Ooh. Yeah, let me leave. I don't want to be down here no more. But I want to go down even more. Mm. Nah, what was that, bro? Nah, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that sound? 
I will not night march up soon. We got how many how many slams? We got we got six slams out of out of ten. And I really just want to do this fishing and just never have to do it ever again. <laughs> just straight up. Oh come on. I cannot I cannot pass this opportunity up. I have to do it. It has to be done. That count? All of these small ones count? They sure do. Let's go. And I think I got a new door scroll. Please. Okay, we got another secret note. Written in Leia's handwriting. My idea of a perfect dinner would be salad, goat cheese, truffle, and wine. For dessert, I'd need a pop seed muffin. Yum. So I'm game of one of those. I would freak out. Okay, cool. Thank you for the information, and Mrs. Leia. I don't know where my horse went. I don't know where he is. Redeem bars. Redeem bars. That's good. Okay, so I can upgrade my pickaxe tomorrow. Got a new door scroll thing. That's good. I like that. Throw away those, don't care. Keep the Gunther thing as well since I'm going there tomorrow. Uh, yeah, let's go. Off we go to the night market. But we will find various goodies. I shall stream until I finish the night, the night market. How about that? Tomorrow, last in game day. I got two things for Gunther tomorrow. That's, that's nice. Good. My shop is blaze you're looking for. Yeah, I need another heart with you. I get that though. I think he likes salad. <laughs> Might not hate it, but you know, that's a risk. That's a risk. I'm not willing to take. We got a coffee, but whatever. Don't care. Get me in here. Get me fishing, my good man. Okay, cool. Now we wait as we slowly descend our doom. Wouldn't the submarine just like implode when you open up the thing? Because the water pressure is so high. Bruh. Bruh. You're starting with that, huh? I see how it is. If it's a blobfish, I'm just. I gotta be so rare. Why do blobfish gotta be so rare? I can buy some fucking blobfish bait. That would be splendid, I think. I want them jewels of the sea. So many of them. A little ridiculous. Blobfish isn't difficult, and I don't just miss it. But I might. If it's difficult. Maybe like a midnight squid again. Go for a boring. Ah, that's the other one. Still boring, because I don't want. Ooh. I have a lot of things to give to Gunther tomorrow, huh? Also some of the secrets I can hold up. Big up. 
ancient dolls or something. I do wonder how many artifacts I've actually just straight up fished up. It's quite a lot. God, I'm trolling. He's standing still, bro. I think this might be a blobfish. I believe. I believe. I believe. Yes! We've done it! Yeah. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know what the fuck that is. Yeah, I caught the mutant carp. What the fuck would that be? This is the legend. That is the void salmon. What the fuck is that? What the fuck are these for? I'll figure it out later, I guess. I'm sure, pretty sure. How about this? How about, how about I look it up just in case? Third Valley, uh. Night Market. Fish! You can get octopus, but whatever. A pearl with a 0.4% chance. Yeah, nah. Nah, bro. Nah, whatever. We got all the fish. Now, what the other ones are. It could just be later in the game, to be honest, because yeah, it is. I think we've caught pretty much every fish in the valley. Because they do seem to kind of go in a row. Right? Kind of all the newer additions are like down here. This must be done Ginger Island. Maybe even this one. And then the other one, I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's that one fish that eludes my knowledge. Okay, I think we just go back home. Screw the coffee, don't care. Let's just go back home. Uh, yeah. We're sending it, fellas. Maybe next year we'll like buy all the paintings and whatnot, but for now, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Alright. So first thing in the morning... Oh yeah, this! Chance of find coal doubled? Yes. Absolutely, bro. You kidding me, bro? That shit is good. Last, last day of the stream. So yeah, first we give a little Rasmodius, a little Rizzing, you know? Rasmodiusing. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I said it. Okay, get this shit out of here. Uh, uh, that, uh... Sell everything. Sell all the fish. What do you want? Sorry to bother you again, but I need another favor. I got a new hammer and I want to try it on a variety of milk. Could you smell it on a bar and bring it to me? Thanks. Okay, I will. Sure, bar. sure, 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 buddy. Sure, buddy. I will do it. All this garbage. Keep the blobfish just in case I need it for nothing. I will need it for nothing, I'm pretty sure. Alright, cool. We got raisins. Look. It's said to be the Junimo's favorite food, but what do I do with it? How do I give it to the Junimo's? I can go to the community center. I guess it's worth trying, but I think. I think you're supposed to give it to them, I guess? Like a Junimo hut? When you have those? I'll try with the community center, but I think it's a Junimo hut. Might just like speed them up. Is, is, my, is my theory. Alright, we got an iron bar for this boy. I'll give him the iron bar, I'll upgrade my thing. I'll give Gunther some stuff. And we're good, we're good to go. Yeah, just four milk. It's an easy sell. Boom, boom. That, keep the eggs. Uh, what can I do here? Just guess pickled corn? No, let's keep, just keep doing just cranberries. Why did I forget their name? 
Let's also keep the raisins in here for future use. Now the jelly. The eggs for Gus. I can potentially harvest in here. Do that real quick. Do all of them cranberries. And just sell the strawberries straight up. Don't really, don't really care about them very much, honestly. that there's a lot of things to do today i could also just like go sell a few cows and just get more sheep i guess and just you know make a bunch of money off of wool cloth because how much was cloth again like 564 yeah it's better it's better than milk it might be it might be a worthwhile thing to do all right iron bars Oh, for now, put the cranberries in here, I think. And then the higher quality ones I'll sell. I like doing it like that. I don't know if I can even get enough eggs for, for our boy Gus. All that. Okay, uh, iron bar and Gunther stuff, and an upgrade thing. And then maybe. Maybe I can do crab pots, actually. That's a good point, now that I think about it. I need to do crab pots and fresh water. Or the um, raccoon. I'll just, I'll have to do that. Alright, donate the uh, dwarf scroll. Almost done with that, I'll need one more scroll. I actually just don't need a lot of anything anymore. Right? Like, how much do I need, really? Okay, there's quite a few here. There's not too many there, though. In time, I'll get it all. There you go, goodbye. I go now upgrade, please. Bows. Oh, canning spot. Recover, baby, let's go. That was worth it. Can't just get that in like the first floor of the caves in one microsecond. Nope. Gotta get it from there. And there's a little secret up here. Let's get it. Wouldn't them strange dolls. Let's go sell it for mad profit. Nah. Gotta give it to Gunther. I could also get the like weird statues, I guess. Or it's like you have to give a like, super cucumber to some box. You gotta give some some other weird shit to some other box. Technology report. Call it crystallarium. Now be patient, it can take up to several days, but eventually it will do stuff. Prismatic shard, because you can't do it. Alright, cool. I think that's all for today. Yeah. Do I even... God damn, the, the new barn is gonna be so expensive, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Holy shit. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna sell a couple of cows and I'm gonna go buy a few sheep. Alright, goodbye, shush. Goodbye. Alright, Zeppelin. Oh, I can't sell Zeppelin. Puppy, I can sell the puppy. <laughs> goodbye. I'm so sorry, bro. Let's go buy other ones. They're more useful. For my empire. Oh, crap pots for that boy. Fuck. 
You will purchase animals, sheep, yes. Go in there, Lily. It's a great name, I know. Another one. Yurdo. Uh, gur, Gurder. Gurder. Gurder! Beautiful. Beautiful name. I'm sure I need more hardwood. So let's go get some hardwood. Also, I have like the whole day to do things. Shadow Essence. Shadow Essence for the wizard. Gotta get the Shadow Essence for the wizard. I should have went back because now I'm gonna forget again. I'm foolish. Forgetful. A lot of like worm places here. It's kind of cool. I kind of like that. I'll get all kinds of... I'll get all kinds of goodies from them. Oh, bye. Let's see what kind, though. Snowy am. And we got our winter root. And another snowy am. Oh, great. I'm so happy. And some clay. Actually, that's quite alright. I like the clay. I like the clay one. The clay one's pretty good. Piece off, slime, piece off. Need the hair, wood. See, is it even worth gathering it? But it probably is. We'll need a bunch for like everything. I'm sure I will get the profession eventually to get the hardwood from trees sometimes, but it's just not worth. What do you mean by that? It's just gonna take a while to get that. That's what I mean by that. Stop, just go away. Why are you in a bush? Just don't don't live anymore, slime, please. God damn. Messing with my mojo. So incredible that that tree somehow fell off and then raccoon happened. And then the tree didn't actually go anywhere, just kinda of flew up into the sky, I guess. Never to be seen again. Wow, these these warm spots suck lately, goddamn. Getting nothing from them. Oh my god, iridium quality mushroom. Nah. Dehydrate that, sell the rest of it. Oh, fucking everything, who cares? I'll keep the jade. It is somebody's birthday gift. Speaking of birthday gifts... Shadow Essence for the wizard. Remember, why do I sense for the wizard? Yeah, I gotta do the bounty sludge, talk to Luz. He should be in the night market, so I'll just do it when he's there, when we're all there. Or I'll just go look for him now, because I have not much else to do. Actually, I don't even need the night market anymore, right? The only thing I wanted from it was the fucking fish. And now I've got the fish. So, I don't need to mind night market no more. Good. I'm glad. You. You're welcome, my boy. Now we're super friends. Yo. Yeah. How is my friendship doing? You know, it's not too bad, considering I never really tried too much with anybody. Gonna be a couple people that are gonna be annoying, but as long as I keep sending everybody on their birthdays and whatnot. Another year of giving gifts to people on their birthdays and like, you know. Well I'll be go 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 to go. Any more trees around here? I could I could use tree fertilizer to get them, but kinda pointless, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. I don't really need the trees for the wood anymore, I just need the trees to level up foraging. And that's not a very efficient way to level up foraging from from experience. And that door can't go there anyway. Quite yet. Yeah, at least there are quite a few forageables around. Like surely it's it's gotta level up soon, right? I've just forged so many things. 
And I keep saying that it's gotta be soon. Like, it's gotta be soon. And then all I'll need is combat. combat and it's gonna be so, so cool. Alright. Let's see if Lewis is at the house. Or somewhere else in the night market. Oh, Lulu, where are you? That's Willy. I thought that was Lulu. There he is. Give me more money. Thanks, my bro. Can I do guys? Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna dip. The only reason why I'm even going here is to go and just teleport back home. <laughs> right? There's like nothing here, basically. I mean, there's like this. I don't know. I mean, Lucky Lunch is kind of cool, actually. Eh, I might do that. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Why not? Like, plus three luck. That would be really nice for the caves. Do I have that one? Do I have the raccoon rare crow? I'll go home, and if I don't have it, I guess I'm running all the way back. I should have it though, I think. I don't. Okay, well. So, one, two. We only have three, four. Oh, we do have four. How many do we have? Five in total. I wonder which ones I'm missing even. I'm not even sure. There's the alien one that I can buy from the gambling. Okay. It's clearly a raccoon one that I can buy now, and I will have to. Uh the rest no clue. Well the rest. There's only one more after that then. Okay, so that's fine. We're going back, ladies and gentlemen, we're going back. I kind of thought I didn't have, but I didn't really want to spend, like, the rest of my money for it. But I guess I should have. Now I don't think I can teleport back anymore. I need, I need to go buy the coffee. Oh, another quest. Oh, and we got a prize ticket if you can fish five herrings. God damn it, I got a fish again. That's fucked up. I don't want to do that. I've done enough fishing. It's boring to be a farmer during the winter. No, because then I become a caver. A cave explorationer. I explore the caves with my cave exploring powers. Yeah. Who's this guy? No, yeah. Red crop. That's seven. I got like one more that I don't know how to get. Can I fish right now? Just out here somewhere? Like over here. I need five herrings. I want that prize ticket. I think herrings should just be in the ocean, man. Right? Oh my goodness. It might take a while, unfortunately. That's definitely not a herring. That's way too spicy of a fish. Yeah, it's a squid. Didn't even sell for that good. Big sad. Okay, that could be a herring, because it just doesn't move. Not a treasure as well. Nice. There you go, that's a herring. That was a good treasure. Diamond mystery box, another spin dresser, dressed spinner. Very cool. Oh. oh my goodness, what the frick? What happened to this fish? It was so calm at the start and then it started flying. Absolute madman. Common ocean fish, I don't know. There's just a red mullet right here. That's fucking albacore. Oh, 
Wait a minute. Wait just a damn minute. Uh, I sh I sh I'm see with my little eye something that is bubbly. Okay, this is gonna be trash. Okay, I guess it's just trash. Why? Nah, that's fucked up. The game's pranking me, bro. Just straight up. Alright, fuck you, game. I see how it is. You don't want me to succeed. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I know your dirty little tricks, your dirty little secrets. Mr. Stadu. Also, it's kind of funny how the wizard just has a teleport to my house specifically. And nobody else's. That's kind of weird, man. That's kind of weird. It'd be weird, my bro. Putting weird teleporters in my house and shit and then selling it to me. Okay, is that it? There's just no fish in the sea anymore. There's just actually nothing? There you go. Finally. My fucking god. Hey, this could be a herring. Yeah. We're almost halfway there. Another herring? Nah, too fast. Yeah, I'm way, way too fast. A very calm squid. That's not a heron. Come on. Manifest herring. Not trash. Stop giving me trash. Oh my god, bro. Good, seriously? There you go. Not a herring, though. It's like a halibut or albacore. Probably a squid, though. Ooh, nice number. Out of hearing. Probably another squid from Albacore. Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I got Albuquerque in, in, the, in, the, in, in this place. In the, in the valley. Wanted to say something that rhymes, but I couldn't come up with anything that rhymes with Albuquerque. Come on, herring, dickhead. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. That's kind of a scary bobbler, goddamn. Red line, red eyes. That's scary. This could be a herring. Two more. Because tomorrow I kind of need to go to the caves. That's probably what I'm gonna do. I'd like to, you know, get the herrings real quick. When will we fight the caca demons? I don't know. What are you? Uh, what? What cocky demons? What are you talking about, bro? What are you saying? Also, um, I'm thinking. Shall shall we go send some gaming after? After this 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 in game day? Shall we fucking send it? Kill some zombies or something. 
Come on, is that close enough? It sure is. Please. This 1 a.m. is kind of getting a little dangerous. About to fucking fall asleep here, bro. And oh, last fish. Last catch. Better be a herring. It does look like it is. Okay. Okay. Promising. Is that it? Let's go! Let's go! It's just that easy, babe. Who told me to do that? Don't do Dimitri. Oh my goodness. Who the fuck? Man's trash is another man's trash. Yeehaw, partner. You know what's good. Oh my god, the money. What the fuck? 15 grand? I didn't even do nothing. That's sexy as fuck. Well, now Marcus done. You really want to make someone happy? Give them gift on birthday. No way, bro. Oh, God! About an upcoming event. It's time to the community. Your secret friend is Jazz. Oh God! It's like the worst person ever. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose that's, that's all for today. I should go... <laughs> that's it. Hope y'all enjoy this little stream. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye! What do you mean, damn? What do you mean, damn? Love you, dad. <laughs> Alright.